Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, and welcome to uh, today's game of Call of Cthulhu. <laughs> Very exciting. Um, so, uh, before we begin, uh, it might be wise to just give you a little recap on the key rules for Call of Cthulhu, so we're all on the same page. I love it. Okay, so Call of Cthulhu is uh, a game of mystery and horror uh, uh, where you are playing intrepid investigators of uh, mysteries, um, kind of delving and fighting against the forces of the, the Cthulhu mythos, otherworldly alien intelligences and horrors from the spaces between the stars. Um, in the game, it uses percentile dice, so D100. Uh, all of the skills, all of the characteristics are uh, D100s. So everything, uh, you can look very easy at a character sheet and look at your skill list. The numbers that are high mean you're pretty good at the skill. If it's low, you're not very good. <laughs> You'll see on the character sheet that against the skill, there's a big number and then there's two smaller boxes. So the big number is your standard regular role in that skill. So if it's climb and you have 50 in it, then you've got 50% uh, regular skill in climb. The top little box next to it will say 25, which is a half of whatever your regular skill is. Yeah. Mm. And that's a hard roll. So if it says difficult, something a bit you know, more challenging, I may say, could you make a hard climb roll? You now you're rolling under the, uh. trying to roll under the 25. If it's nearly impossible, then it's the bottom little box, and that is one fifth of your skill. And that's an extreme. So trying to make an extreme roll. Yeah is normally pretty hard. So this is where I see numbers like two, four, yes. ten. Yeah. <laughs> Percentage chance. Percentage chance. But there is a way, there's two <clears throat> things that can help you here in the game in terms of the rules. Uh, there is pushing the roll, which basically, if you can justify why you can have a second attempt at that skill, as in what additional, what, what, what additional Thing you're bringing to bear, whether it's more time, uh, where if it's trying, you know, you're trying to break down a door, and, you've, you've, and you know, the, the additional motivation may be, well, you take a running jump at the door and you throw yeah. yourself bodily at it, you're, you're taking a bigger risk. If you can justify that, then you get a push roll, which is a single extra attempt to re roll the chance. Um, if you make it great, it succeeds. If you fail, it means that you may succeed, but it allows me to impose a greater um, a greater downside to the role, either in failing it or passing it. So right. it becomes my choice, basically, mm. rather than yours. The other option is to use luck. Now, you'll see on top of your couch sheet along, the, uh, along here, the, the sort of bottom row of long, long numbers, uh, yeah, that's the one, is your luck value. That's um, generally static, so if, you, uh, if the fickle hand of fate comes into play, such as, did I remember to pack my ah. pistol? I might make you to make, uh, get you to make a luck roll. Hmm. Okay. However, you can spend your luck points to adjust your skill rolls. Ooh. So if you fail a roll, so let's say you were making a climb roll at 50% and you fail it by rolling 55, you've rolled over the skill so you've failed, you can burn five of your luck points to deduct the five off the roll to make it a 50 and a success. Permanently burn them? And they're permanently burnt, yeah. Wow. So, but obviously, if I later in the game say, please make a luck roll, you're now rolling the lower value. Right, yeah. And um, in this kind of game, there's no limit on how much luck you want to spend. So if you fail a roll by 80% and you want to spend 80 luck points if you have them, sure. right. you can burn through. <clears throat> now, how does, that, how does that affect, I mean, so I haven't played Call of Cthulhu, like, like I was telling you, for maybe 20 years. And so this luck stat... If I burn five points, do I ever get that back? In a, in a campaign game, uh, what you will find is, yes, you can... Um, there's opportunities. There's opportunities to regain luck as you go through uh, play sessions. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. It's never, never a huge amount. No, no, no. You won't no, necessarily no. always get back to where you started. Exactly. But, so it mirrors the sanity, uh, the sanity mechanic in the same way. You will find your sanity decreases as you go down. If you lose a certain amount of sanity during the game, you may trigger some form of insane episode which obviously I'll talk you through as Absolutely. need be. Um, oh, yes, and again, Dora, Dora doesn't know. <laughs> but, um, but if you do well in the scenario at the end and you've you know, achieved some sort of degree of success, you may you know, get some sanity rewards back as well. So they are variable, but in the intensive Call of Cthulhu, because it's a horror game, things tend to go down and get worse rather than get better right. over long term. Um, 
Combat is very simple. Again, it's just you make a skill roll. But again, we can deal with combat and things in the game as we go through. Mm -hmm. But as long as you know how to make a percentile roll, you're good to go, basically. So there we have let's, it. Let's pretend that a person doesn't know how to make a percentile roll. Like yep. Jerry, he's dumb. Okay. Let's teach Jerry how to make a percentile <laughs> roll. Let's do it. Look. Okay, so we got... Um, a D100 here, a 10 senior unit size, so I'm going to make a percentage roll and I'm going to say I need to make, my skill is 50%, so I always want to roll low in Cthulhu. There's only one time you don't and I'll tell you if that happens, but all the time you want to roll lowest as possible. So I'm going to make a percentile roll and uh, I got 54, 54%, so I failed my roll. But I'm going to push the roll and give it another go because I'm going to throw myself bodily at this uh, mountain and... Uh, See if I can get up there. And I roll 68. Oh, sure. So I completely crushingly failed that push blow, which probably made push roll. So I probably fell down the mountain, cracked my head open, and I'm lying in some injured state, hoping that one of my colleagues are going to rescue me. Okay. Got it. Got it. Now, point of order. So my second... So you have it, because <laughs> I had it. <laughs> you already knew. <laughs> okay. So uh, because I've pushed it, that second roll is the one that stands. Yes. So if I wanted to expend luck, in that case, I you, could have done it for four points on the first roll. You can't spend luck on the push roll. Oh, you can't, you can't uh, expend it that's, at all. That's the added risk. There we go. You get an extra roll, but you can't spend luck. So luck you can spend on any yeah. skill roll or combat roll, but you can't spend it on luck rolls, you can't yeah. spend it on sanity rolls, and you can't spend it on damage rolls. You can't increase the damage you would cause, but you can increase mm -hmm. the chance go. of hitting. You know my favorite thing about <laughs> The Call of Cthulhu role-playing game has always been in earlier versions, certainly, and it's still here today. There's a skill called library use. That's all I need. <laughs> that's, that's all I need. That's, that's a game it. for me. It, it, it announces to me that I'm welcome here. Yep. Uh, although the game content itself does go another direction. Sure, sure. Well, if there's no other questions, if you're happy with your character sheet, we can, uh, what we can do is introduce the characters. Yeah. yeah, I love it. So I will just give you a little background to the characters. You all do know each other. You're all members uh, of an organization, a, a, a kind of an amateur organization um, the, um, that's based at the Miskatonic University in Arkham. And uh, it's a, um, the, uh, the Miskatonic um, University uh, Society for the Unexplained. It's an extracurricular group. <laughs> extracurricular group, made up of students, professors, and and you know those interested in the locality, uh, who basically get together once in a while to share stories, mysteries, but sometimes get involved in cases. The police may contact them, or or a, 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 a farmer, or a, a somebody will contact and say, "Hey, I, I think I have a haunting. Please, can you?" Something cow related. Something cow related. So, um, so you're all members of this uh, society, and uh, are, you have been called out to do an investigation. But before we get into that, let's see who you are. So, would you like to start and say uh, who you are? Oh, sure. Uh, hey, <laughs> I'm uh, I'm Nevada Jones. You might know me from all the treasure I collected and send to museums. <laughs> That's all you get right now. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm, a, I'm a closed book. <laughs> yeah, you know me better. Yeah. Right? Then I'll reveal the second sheet. Maybe, if you're lucky. I also have to do something fancy. Hello, I am Kaiko Kane. I am a science student <laughs> at Arkham, and I believe in science. And only science. <laughs> mm. I'm into it. I'm into it. You may have an opportunity to have those beliefs <laughs> challenged forthwith. Hello there. I'm Louise Russo. Um, I, you may notice my stylish bob, dark hair, and my flapper style dress. Um, I was raised Catholic, and um, I am hard nosed, fire tempered, and I love to argue. <laughs> okay, so there's there's going to be some hmm. there's going to be some uh, generational challenges. Uh, I can already tell. Are you old? Oh, I'm in the 19, party. I should say. I am 58. Oh, I'm 35. I'm 21. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah, you are the yeah. old, old man. Uh, uh, Wentworth uh, Avery, languages professor. Can I just call you Grandpa? No. Hmm. Uh, you may not. Uh, age 58, uh, male, residence Arkham, uh, birthplace New York, uh, slightly worn suit, average height, trim mustache, mm -hmm. uh, monocle rather than spectacles. Mm. 
when examining text, always furtively taking a glance uh, at a small cameo that he keeps in his pocket. What are the contents of this cameo? I don't know. It's a picture. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't take long. Just, just wait long enough yeah. and I'll tell you. Yes. Uh, so we're all amateur members of this yeah, society. Yeah, yeah. Some of you may, you know, some of you may believe or, or think you've seen, you know, paranormal or strange events. Some of you may be members because you don't believe in it and you're skeptical and you want to disprove these things for for whatever reason you have. So there's a there's a a, a standard sort of Mully to you know like a Mulder to Scully range. In, indeed. Yeah. Um, that's expressed inside the society. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And I should also say, we, they're playing in the year of 1922 in, uh, in the, um, well, you, it, we're going to be in Michigan, actually, um, because uh, you've been asked, um, you've been contacted by a chap called Thomas Kimball, uh, who lives in Michigan, and uh, it seems that his house has been burglarized and some of his uncle's favorite books have been stolen. The mystery is a little unusually explained because uh, his uncle inexplicably disappeared without a trace about a year ago. And uh, Mr. Kimball would like uh, if you could come and find whether, uh, you know, who stole the so who stole his uncle's books. Um, perhaps by doing that, whether you can find any information about his disappeared uncle. Um, he lives very close to a graveyard. And there has been some unusual um, things going on in the graveyard, which he hasn't really alluded to, particularly in the letter that you have received. Um, and he has this nagging doubt that the whole the whole situation is 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 somehow linked to his uncle in some way. So the the thefts of his uncle's books. <clears throat> Uncle has been missing. He still believes that his uncle is directly connected to. He, it. he feels some connection, whether it's whether it's um, somebody who knew his uncle or whether it's, it's connected to the disappearance, and whether the culprit involved in the disappearance is the same person involved in the theft. He's not sure, but he's he has this kind of gut feeling that it's something is not quite right. Hence, why. Uh, the theft of a few books from the uh, from his uh, study um, hasn't really warranted warranted the interest of the police. Hence, why he's turned to uh, to you guys uh, in the hope that you can at least shed some light on the matter. Marvelous. Sure. So you have headed over, and we will start having arrived at uh, Mr. Kimball's house, formerly his uncle's house, Douglas Kimball, uh, his uncle. Um, and uh, you have settled in. He has provided you uh, some rooms to stay. It's a big, it's a big old house, um, and um, you've settled in. And it is uh, the following morning, and he's uh, sort of greeting you in the uh, around the breakfast table, and uh, has basically just told you what I've told you. And uh, over to you in terms of anything that you want to ask or where you'd like to take things first. I'll fix my uh, napkin uh, uh, in the, the neck portion of the shirt. Uh, and I'll say, Mr. Kimball, tell me a little bit about this collection of books uh, that your, uh, your past uncle, we mourn him, of course, uh, was able to amass. Anything strange, anything that he felt was especially private that he didn't want you to see? Anything valuable? Uh, well, my, uh, my uncle uh, was a, well, he loved books. He was an avid collector of all manner of, all manner of books. And, and uh, I, since I moved into, into, into what was his house, um, I have um, redesigned most of the rooms. But the one, the one area I've, I've kind of been very reluctant to, to touch really, and it is in fact the the, the one room I've, I've done nothing with since my uncle disappeared it is his study, which which is includes his library. Um, I, I just haven't really had the will to 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 do anything with the books. I, I'm, I'm not an expert myself, and I'm sure uh, my uncle was far more learned than I. And, and I'm sure that within his collection, there there are there are books of, of, of great value, perhaps as well as as well as lesser value. But um, but I, I really know very little about these things. But obviously, the somebody must know there is some value to them because 
they stole some. They, they broke in and stole some of them. Uh, Keiko puts down her book that she's reading at the table and asks, do you know which books went missing or what? Alas, there are so many. I, 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 was, I was aware of the theft uh, because uh, th- there was a, uh, a, number of, a number of books knocked over um, uh, the night in question and, and a window was ajar. Um, I, I, I took a quick recce and I, I, I don't know the names of the books, but I think there, there was a pile um, that, were, that were on my, uh, my uncle's desk. Uh, they, they, you know, had been there for like 12 months or so uh, and there were about six books in the pile and they, they, were, they were what I noticed would, had been taken. They, they were missing. Hmm. Mm-hmm. What, um, what are the... Uh, circumstances of your uncle's disappearance, did he seem to leave with a suitcase or is he, did, is all of his stuff here? He's just gone? Oh, oh, indeed, all of his stuff was here. Um, uh, he had not made no travel arrangements or, or ventured to, to say that so. Mm-hmm. Uh, he, he simply disappeared one day. Um, uh, we There was a there was a, a police inquiry into the matter, but, mm. but nothing turned up, and no, no, uh, no sight, sound, nor, nor bless his heart, a body, n- n- nothing, nothing to say where, where he had taken to. Oh dear! But it is now twelve months past, and with regret, I, I, I fear that you know he is no more. Mm. Mm. What kind of person is your uncle? He was a very solitary man, uh, kept to himself. Uh, he, most of his time, his head was in a book. Uh, uh, the, the times I remember... There's a chortle like, I, from, I, over <laughs> from the, the Wentworth portion, <laughs> and a knowing nod. Did you already contact the police? Uh, y- yes. About but, this break-in? Th- yes, they, 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 they did send an officer around, but... but uh, a cursory inspection of a few minutes only, and uh, I, I, I fear that they have more pressing matters to deal what with. What makes you think that it's business for us rather than the the police? Well, it, it's can, there is one my uncle's strange disappearance, but through beyond uh, beyond the house, there is uh, there is a, a shortcut to the the local cemetery. Um, uh, and for the last whew, a few months or so, there has been strange noises from the cemetery at night. Um, I, I, I dare not venture into such place myself in the evening. I, I, I've no wish to to run afoul of rowdies and the like. <coughs> but but there there I did I did spy from a, a window uh, figures. Moving in the cemetery, uh, around gravestones and such, and ghostly figures. Translucent. One could well. They they were indistinct. In the the, the the moon, the moon was somewhat shaded by clouds, so I I could not get a good look at them. But they were clearly um, ghosts, though. But, we don't need to confuse I, 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 local I, teenagers I, I, for malevolent. The man spirits. has seen spirits. <laughs> Wentworth. I mean, He's just described them to you. The graveyard is no doubt lousy with them. I, 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 I wouldn't dare to say they were living or dead, but they certainly, they certainly uh, made, made, gave me a sleepless night thereafter. There's a scientific explanation for everything. Ghosts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Spirits. And that they exist and ghosts, yes. It sounds like ghosts. I have a I have a photograph of my my uncle. Um, he, he produces a, a small black and white showing a, 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 a average height fellow, uh, balding head with uh, white hair, um, round spectacles, wire rim spectacles. Um, quite a nondescript, you know, but you know, fine looking fellow uh, in his uh, probably in his mid fifties, you would think. Um, but nothing I remarkable t- about it. I want to take a very, very close look at it just to see if there's anything, like, 
in the modern era, we would call it like metadata, but is there anything about him that's been given away by the nature or the context of the photograph? Is he against his bookshelf, for example, he, he, that we're about to go up and see? Yes, he is in his study. I yes, want to take a very yes. close look at the books arrayed behind him. Sure. And we'll be comparing that when yes, we go up and see the sure. library itself. From your initial look at the actual image and the, the books in the image, um, they nothing stands out as unusual. They, they look like... Uh, a collection of travel guides, perhaps. Oh. Hmm. Pity. Um, but, um, yeah, I mean, can, can you point me towards the study? Yes, certainly. Uh, please, uh, you know, feel free to, to go where you will. Um, but certainly I, I would point you to the study. So he, he takes you down to the study and says, uh, here you are. He, he opens the door and inside is, it's, it's not a massive room. Um, it's, uh, there are, there are um, library shelves around most of the walls. In the centre is a, a, a kind of a, a fine kind of stout oak desk with chair. Uh, it's pretty cluttered and messy. There are books not only on the shelves but in piles on desk and on the floor. Um, the... Um, there are no other doors into the room other than one into the main body of the house, uh, but, but there are glass windows indeed. around. Indeed, and he had suggested that this window was in fact yes. ajar. Yes, and he will, he will point the window to you. And the, the windows, um, there's uh, four windows. Uh, the sort of second on the left is the one he points to. He said, this, this was ajar uh, on the morning that uh, I found the, uh, the break in. And now it's a window, that's crazy. <laughs> it's a strange life. Um, but um, the um, the window itself, um, there are. Um, it's just a simple latch mechanism. Um, they look pretty old. Um, they um, there's no damage to the windows either. What floor are we on? Uh, you're on the ground floor. There's only there's only um, there's only a, a handful of bedrooms on the upper floor. Okay, so easy access. From outside, although the latch is within. Beyond the window, uh, you can see a kind of a garden area. It's still reasonably overgrown, needs some attention, but not, you know, not terribly overgrown. Um, and you can just make out beyond, there's a, there's a, a row of trees, but there is clearly a, a kind of path wending through. And, and uh, Mr. Kimball says, yes, that, the, if you take the path that, you know, directly from here, that leads to the cemetery. Um, I, I um, lean over the window, and I, how many footprints do I see? Um, looking over, um, it's, you, there are some shapes in the mud. Mm. Um, difficult to sort of get an idea, but there, are, there definitely you can see some some sort of imprints. Um, they don't, and they the way, don't really look like boot prints. The way like he's that, saying though. imprint, I don't like. Yes. They don't yeah. really look like f shoe prints. They're, they're more suggestive of... Um, Demonic hoof. Well, it, paws, <laughs> claws, hoofs. That, it looks more like, you know, a cow has stood here rather than, you know, hmm. a boot print in that respect. Do we know if your uncle had any cow enemies? I don't believe he did. Cow enemies? Hmm. Um, what did your uncle do for a living? You said he was bookish. Maybe I missed it. He, he didn't. He didn't work. He 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 had uh, his uh, inheritance, which he lived off. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, mm -hmm. that's that's a, a quite the precondition for a, his a life spent in a library. In his library, so you have all. I'm assuming you have all of the books on the wall. Are there holes? Where there are there are there are a number of holes in the you know in, it's not full by any means but but it's it but there are books everywhere including on the floor but there are noticeable spaces within the shelves like where there like where there obviously was a book at one point yep yeah is there any kind of order that they're in there is, is obvious well uh, taking you know, taking a moment to kind of look at look around the actual library shelves there is a there is a kind of a rough order they're, they're not alphabetical in, in organized in that way but but roughly there is a wall of what look to be um travel logs memoirs um guides to to various foreign climes uh there's another on biology and nature and plants and growth and things like that um and uh, there's a there's another section on various histories uh, again mainly European but including some uh, some others uh, from other parts of the world. Um, what interestingly that you know you probably 
take a look for. The, the, nothing leaps out as, as strange or occult in that way. There's no, no grimoires. There's no kind of uh, strange books on magic or demonology. There's nothing like that at all. It's all very, very normal, actually. Nevada would like to look around the bookshelves and just see if there's any indication, maybe in the floor, that any of them slides or moves sure, or shifts sure. in well, some way. Well, you, you know, you can spend... Uh, you know, a few moments kind of wrapping on walls and tugging and trying a few books here and there. Yeah. And unfortunately, nothing seems to happen. Then I hop out the window. There. And you hop out the window? I jump out the window. Yeah, well, do you want to open that first or? <laughs> oh, I thought it was a jar. Well, it, it was a jar when it, when it, when <laughs> Indeed, he found it stolen. Oh, he's closed he's since, it since then. Since shut it since then. Okay, so when, when she looked out the window, she had not opened it. Yeah. Just peering through. Yeah. Peering through. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll yeah. flip just it. Just action, mm-hmm. action packed. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, yeah. It's, as you as you open it, you li- literally have to just touch the latch, and it just flicks open itself. Very, very loose. Not very secure. And uh, and it's wide enough that you can easily jump through it. Okay. All right, I'm gonna make uh, a meal of this desk. So it sounds like this desk was where there were perhaps as many as six books that had been particularly chosen from the library, mm-hmm. placed here perhaps for in-depth study. I'm going to try to see if I can find anything in the notes or the madness that makes up this desk. If I can try to like reverse engineer what he might have pulled out, notes, some kind of a catalog he keeps of his own library, for example, that would be a very useful thing for us to find out. Sure. Well, you have a good look around. Uh, you pull open the drawers and, and try and find such and such. Um, could you give me a library use role, perhaps? In, uh, nothing, 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 nothing would... <laughs> Could you do that? <clears throat> uh, nothing, nothing would bring me more pleasure. I want you to fail this role. I'll worry the cameo uh, in my pocket and say, here we go. Uh, what does that mean? A, two stars. Which look could be a hundred. That's a hundred. Is that bad? That's a fumble. Uh, that's a fumble. Worst possible role you can have. <laughs> God bless. So just as, incredible. As you are, you know, you're very convinced that <laughs> this desk holds secrets. It lights on fire. <laughs> You, you, and, and you're pulling out drawers and, 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 and no, no, nothing here that's jumping out. So you, you get underneath the desk and you're looking for a secret drawer perhaps. Yeah, right? exactly. Latches. Just, just, as, just as you kind of jump through the window and go, ha, ah, and make a loud noise perhaps as you yeah, probably climb do. through. And you bang your head on the top of the, uh, top of the desk with a loud, loud and you know, very, very painful ouch, uh, taking a point of damage. Oh, oh my gosh. May I help Wentworth as well with my library skills? Of course. Uh, I lean over to kick on like, God, these old people. Just, <laughs> 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 Why? <laughs> now he's knocked the desk. He, it may have may have revealed something. Yeah, shaking something loose. So I'm, yeah. I'm, yes, yeah, so if you would make a library, but I'm going to give you a uh, a bonus die to that. So if you roll that with your percentile dice, yeah, I loosened the jar. The best result. So yep, <laughs> which is also a well. Which yep, is also so a win. Three. Sometimes. Okay, so uh, we have 15, no, 45 or 15. 15. So with a bonus, you get a great success. And um, mm-hmm. indeed, just as the desk, there's a, a book kind of that was kind of hidden beneath some others, kind of comes loose and falls onto the ground open. And you see it is a journal. <gasps> That's what this whole game is about. <laughs> don't, don't read that. That's not right. <laughs> You're like outside screaming. <laughs> <laughs> You're in there. <laughs> so yes, you find a journal and you, you do discover it is um, Douglas, the journal of Douglas Kimball. Perfect. That's who we're looking for. In case you didn't write it down, I did. <laughs> I got it right here on my notes. <laughs> okay, so. Who's looking through it? Are you finders keepers looking through it? Are you passing okay. it so, on? So I'll, I'll be honest, cause, because we all know each other, and it sounds like you know it's. Uh, uh, I'm gonna crawl out from underneath, like just smarting and wincing, uh, rubbing my my head. I'm just gonna stand uh, yeah, as she is like uh, opening the journal and flipping through. I'm just gonna try to be like a secondary yeah perspective. So both looking through, that's uh, that's fine. Okay, so um, it's not 
it's not a very big journal. There, there's lots of small entries. He's used pages with multiple entries for multiple days, and it's very it's very quick to kind of get a quick scan through. Um, and um, you see that um, the latter end, the, the 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 kind of the first you know two thirds of the journal is very very dull. As in, you know, new books arrive from cellar in New York, you know, gardeners, you know, questions and whatever. Yeah. <laughs> really, really dull. Really, Lots really dull. And, yeah. um, but the latter ones, uh, there are a few interesting phrases that start to leap out. Um, one uh, mentions um, reaching a decision uh, and then decision made. It's just kind of cryptic entries like this. And um, and then there's a very strange entry that seems to say something about joining with my friends below. Do they have a basement? Not, no. Hmm. No. Oh. The, there, is, there is one other um, entry. Um, you kind of see the, see, the, see the mention about below and you, can't, you don't really see anything thereafter. So you backtrack a little bit and do another check. And um, you've seen there's some mention of a, a network of tunnels. Just in general, it just and the the way he writes are just literally little phrases, yeah. Rather than a you know today I did tweets. The, yes, yes. Before before they even were there, yeah. right? Well, I'm I'm very good at a couple of things. One of them is archaeology. I feel like if I can poke around in the mud outside this window, um, I'm looking at these. Prints, these imprints. Sure. Well, I'm going to make ask you to make a luck roll because you did jump into the prints, and that's I want true. to see how disturbed you made I that them. That was a strange move. Yeah. Well, that's oh, he's a man of action. That's great. I know how to so make you, percentage what's, rolls. What's your luck uh, value? Sixty. Sixty. So Ooh. you just want to roll under sixty. What's the star again? So the star is uh, is a zero in that case. Uh, so seven. So yeah, seventy. Yeah. So that's yes. above 60. So that's the fail, I'm afraid. So, yeah. so you, so you jump in and... Um, no, because it's a luck. Oh, hard. luck. You can do luck, yeah. Right. Yeah, because it's, it's, you, you have, unfortunately, obscured some of them. But there's, you know, there's a few still there. Somebody messed these prints up. So I'm going to say... <laughs> I'm going to say if you can make a hard um, spot hidden roll, there's enough of something for you to get an idea about it. A hard one. So that's, not the, one. that's not the lowest. Not no, the lowest. It's the, it's the middle. It's the middle 25. number. 25. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that's 10 and a 5 is 105? So no, no, no. no. no that's 15. <laughs> 15. That's, 15. Yeah, 15. 15. 15, so the oh, 10. 10 is the 10s. Yes. It's just the 10s column. 10s yes. column. So 15 kicks ass, dude. Hey, so 15. You, great roll. Yeah. Okay. Don't worry about it. So, There's still so, some stuff yeah. I can see. Momentary kind of despondence. Oh, no, I just stood in the prints. And you're going to get down, look at them a bit closer. Actually, no, yeah, yeah. No, there's some here I can make out. Um, you, do you have um, what's? Do you have natural world or science biology? I'm very or? good at the occult, uh, just in general. So maybe what I'd get you to do is make a no roll. So if you could make, uh, you see your characteristics at the top. If you uh, see the education one, edu. Oh yeah. Yeah. Could you roll roll, roll that one for me? Yes, I can. Eighty. Uh, so sixty-one. Sixty-one. Eighty. Wow. So. Oh wait, that's a nine, not a. That's a nine. So ninety-one. Ninety-one. So you failed that one. I'm yeah. Afraid. So they. So what you do know, they definitely look animal. They mm -hmm. don't look human. Uh, you can make out no, you know, footprints or, or boot or shoe prints. What you can make out is some animal prints. Uh, they. Uh, unfortunately, because of the earth's been disturbed, it's difficult to really s for you to kind of get an idea of what they are. But um, to, they look, you know, you, your best guess is something like a, a cow or a, a, that. okay, livestock, livestock in some, of some kind. Everything out here points to cow. Are there cows even close by? Yeah, to be honest, you haven't seen any in the vicinity. Well, this is just this getting is stranger not, and stranger. This is not farmland. This is like 
No, it's 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 it's, it's um, or something. It's it's it's, it's um, it's Michigan. Oh, Michigan. Michigan. That's right. <laughs> he, just, he just happens you're, to have a great little, accent. I think that's what it is. It's a <laughs> suburb, <laughs> basically. Uh, yeah. You know, it's a little, you know, 1920s suburb. You know, you're not right in the middle of the city in any way, right. but but you are in the uh, the suburb, so it is reaching out into the countryside. But so, you know, you will, there will be cows about, but not down this street, as yeah, it were. But not at the window. Not at the window. Probably. So, uh, is it possible that Douglas Kimball was a cow? No, no, we see the picture. We saw the picture of him. We saw the picture, not I, a cow. I would like to look at like if, it, if there's any like family portraits or anything on the wall. I just want to kind of get an idea of this guy because um, I feel like we know very little about him mm. specifically. Like, does he have any portraits or like him with another like an author he adores or? Yeah, I mean, you, like you do it. You know, you do a bit of a tour of the house, particularly yes. you know down in the down in the lounge area, the dining room, the hallways, and so on. There are the, what images are on the walls are tend to be paintings and tend to be kind of pastoral scenes and things like that. Um, very, very few images of people, and um, <coughs> there are or none. Cows, possibly. <laughs> well, it's just him and some cows. <laughs> <house. laughs> but there's like a cow in the background, like giving him like. <laughs> Angry guys, like, yeah. Big friend to you, cows. You cracked the case. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, in this cow. But there aren't really, uh, th- there, is, there is only really one other, other than the, the photograph you have. Yes. Um, there is a, a portrait of uh, he, when he was much younger, perhaps maybe mid 20s, um, uh, an oil painting um, that clearly resembles you know, a younger version of the, the guy in, in the photograph. Um, but again, nothing in it. Jumps out as strange or mm-hmm. remarkable. Dark so I'll, I'm going to let I'm going to let Keiko uh, continue to digest the contents of that journal, um, and I'm going to take Thomas Kimball aside, uh, and I'm going to ask him if his uncle mm-hmm. was a member of any uh, clubs that he frequented. Uh, was he where? I mean, tell me a little bit about his social circle. And I say the reason I'm asking is because. Uh, God, God rest him. Uh, we found a journal, um, and he suggests reaching a decision, making a decision. Uh, friends below. Does any of that ring a bell? He sort of thinks about it for a moment, and and I said, no. I mean, my uncle was was quite reclusive. Um, he, he didn't have a great deal to do with the, the rest of the family. Um, he never married, uh, didn't have any children, um, and rarely, rarely accepted visitors. Uh, so I, I, I had not seen him for nearly eight years before, before I found I'd, I'd inherited uh, his, uh, his property mm. from, uh, you know, since, since the disappearance and, and subsequent... Uh, uh, decision of the court to say that he had, you know, presumed presumed passed. Um, so I have my memories are, are quite scant of him. Um, uh, a few, a few of the the, the neighbours um, uh, who are all, you know, mostly pleasant types have, uh, have um, you know, m- m- mentioned they had, you know, they they knew my uncle and and he he always uh, had a friendly word. Um, but again, none of them seemed to suggest they had any great friendship with him and knew him better than anyone else. He, he was very, as I say, uh, from all accounts, he lived for books and he spent most of his time with his head in the book and rather than living, you know, living life in that way for the rest of the uh, Can I the see, uh, from my position, I'm just sort of looking at these prints, do they lead... Uh, back towards the graveyard, or do they just sort of come up out of the ground? Okay. Um, could I have archaeology a track roll? Oh, track, Ooh. track. Oh, boy, I'm real bad at that. Is what? anyone else not? The things I find have been there for a very long time, and they're not moving. <laughs> <laughs> you just you just go where you already know they are. <laughs> yeah, I don't go. I don't follow them, but I'll try. I okay. Am. Uh, thirty-seven. So no, because I Dude, you're, ten. You are <laughs> listen. Track. Lois is a straight murderer. Yeah, maybe L- yeah. Lois. Maybe you should come take a look at these imprints. I think they uh, might be cow related. These imprints that you stomped all over. Yeah, someone did. <laughs> we don't know who. We live in a world of mysteries, Lois. Five <laughs> zero. Uh, which I mine is fifty. That's bang on. Yes. Does that mean that 
She so wins pass? it? Yeah, you oh, pass. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Now, if we were playing a campaign game, I'd say, tick your skill here. That means you check. You take, Next to the skills, oh. there's a little box oh, here. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. So you would tick that to say that you had a success. So later on in the game, when we kind of finish the adventure, you could then see if you improve that skill because you've ah. had success. Oh, okay. Oh, by using it successfully, it gets better? You can, you can learn from it can. successes. I love that. That's yes. a very yeah. good. Yeah. Interesting. Um, okay. But as I say, you, uh, you, know, you look over, and yes, he has made a bit of a mess of these tracks. However, your eagle eyes, <laughs> you kind of look through, and you look a bit beyond where he's been trudging, and uh, you see, actually, there are some more marks. And they, um, in fact, you see that there is a clearly a set of tracks coming and going along this path towards presumably the, the cemetery. Oh, are they human or are they cow? Well, they look, they, they definitely look um, like hooves. Bestial. Um, yeah. I see more, uh, see tracks leading. Potentially to the graveyard. That's what I wanted you to see. That's why I asked you to come out here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I believe that. Um, yeah, maybe we should go check it out. Well, while you're there, while you're, while you're both there looking and pointing out, they're leading that way. Yeah. Could you both make a spot hidden roll, please? Mm. Okay. Uh, you got hidden. this. You yeah. got this. Well, you don't, you don't got this. No, I have I it. 34 and my spot hidden is 50. Fantastic. Do you spot? Give it a go. Give it a go. You never know. Uh, I do not. 83. 83. Okay, so you're, you're, you're far too consumed by, the, by having, you know, detected these tracks and, you know, uh, but as, as you kind of look, look over and you see some movement in the distance um, beyond the tree line, you know, beyond down, down the path through the tree line, you can see some movement, presumably, you know, either, you know, in the graveyard or beyond. You see some sort of figure moving about. I see a suspect. Yeah, it is, you know, it's, it's, it's what? Probably maybe a by the time you've been mucking around and yeah. probably about maybe ten ten thirty in the morning. Yeah, so exactly. you know the sun's out. Still, it's not still know. bright. Oh yeah, okay. It's not a ghost. Did you say there were field guides in the in the library? Yeah, yeah. Can we use? Uh, can would I be able to find a field guide to help us identify these hooves? Possibly. There's plenty. There's plenty of books on natural history and biology and so on. Yes. Yes. Certainly worth a look, yeah. Can we do that? God bless you. Sure, sure. <laughs> and in fact, you're, you're a bit of a biologist anyway. Okay, so I'm going to Grab say, that field guide, hold it open. Rather prepare. than making a library use, because you're looking at something very specialized and you come with a biology background because you're a scientist, uh, I'm going to say make your biology role rather than a spotted and roll or library use role. Biology. <laughs> biology. <laughs> biology. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> 94. 94. Now, you have a choice here. You could let it, let that lie and say you look to the books and nothing other than you keep coming up with cows and you know it's not really getting anywhere. Or you could, you could spend 14 points of luck to turn that, oh uh, no, no, 24 points of luck to turn that into a success. Gosh. Or, push. you could maybe take some more time and try a push roll. I would like to push roll. What, what's okay. your base, Keiko? 70. Oh, push is in. I will, just before yeah. you do it, just remind you, if you fail this roll, you can't use luck on it. And if you fail the roll, a worse outcome may be the result. I do than have simply failing it normally. That written down. <laughs> okay. Which one comes alive Come in your face. Push, Come push, on. push. Come push. on. Push roll. Biology. Biology, you have to see what, what does the Kraken mean? <laughs> That's a zero. zero. That's a zero. So okay. ten. Yeah. Ten. Ten. God damn. Wow. Nice. So great success. Right. So so uh, so in the in the TV version of this, like you're out there, it's like you're like crunching through the grass, like you're comparing it, and it's like the first time, it's like it didn't take, and now you've like actually like you're kneeling down and looking at it, and I am just, I'm watching the group of people out there, and then like I can just see the graveyard beyond, and I have not left the library at all. I go, I close the window <laughs> and latch it. Wow. And I just watch it happen, and I'm just, I'm glad to know that there's people out there who are okay being that close to the cemetery? So is the success amplified as well, or would it just have been the negative effect? You've just, you've just turned it from a failure into success. Right, okay. Yeah. So um, you've gone through, um, you, you know, you started off with cows, because there's got hooves, and then you Makes kind of, of got, and, and 
Basically, um, you the lo- the short answer is you can't find a direct correlation or match in terms of you know your knowledge and, and in terms of the actual field guide books but on those animals. Good. However, however, there is a resemblance um, to the and the closest resemblance is actually goats, but the difference being the prints in the ground here are significantly bigger. So it's either some sort of giant goat or some sort of hybrid of something, maybe. It's definitely Chupacabra. definitely unusual and definitely you've never seen anything quite like this it's, before. So you're indicating something chimerical. Perhaps. Goats, huh? Why did it have to be goats? <laughs> <laughs> With that strange eyes. Oh, yeah. Do they ever? Is it Satan himself when I clutch my... I cross around my neck. Uh, we should... Wait, so... Did you wait? Did you tell us that it was goats? I guess you must have. Yeah. Okay. It's goats. Um, <laughs> hey, everybody. It's goats. <laughs> it's goats. <laughs> Problem solved. All right, Thomas. Hey, it's goats. We'll see ya. Well, goat. One goat. One yeah, big you got, one. You got a real goat problem. <laughs> there was no, like, muddy foot goat prints in the library. There was no... Or I didn't check. Now that's a fucked up question. <laughs> Why don't you make a hard spot hidden roll? I did not get there. A hard one, I'm so Here, lying. here, but I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be, I wanna be a part of this. It's like, because as soon as somebody comes I'm back- I'm like looking through the window that you well, close. Well, the, 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 <laughs> you, no, you knock, exactly. <laughs> no, but for me, it's like, now it's, it's, like, it's like when you don't wanna do something, you find like a million other things to do. It's like, now that I think there's something to do that's not go to the graveyard, yeah. I'm gonna invest myself <laughs> in it completely. <laughs> we should stay here, very focused. Yeah. Goats. 30. 30. So close. 30. So uh, what was your spot hidden? Uh, spot hidden, uh, it would be, it would have to be twelve. Twelve. Which is hard. Yep. So you're yeah. thinking hard. Oof. Here, let, let, yeah. let me get a piece of it, and then I might luck it out. I'm an old man. It's time to invest this luck. Yeah. Right. Uh, for me, spot what hidden. What else are you going to use it for? Hard. Exactly. You can't take it with you. Nope. Um, <laughs> Twenty nine. So I will spend four luck points. Four. Only four. And, dude, but, yeah. but but it's like I find something I didn't even want to see. <laughs> 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 well, it's interesting. Uh, you kind of you're looking on the gra- on the grass on the on the carpet, I should say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, there's been clearly a lot of movement in this room. Yeah. But you do pick up this this one dried Clear. mud on the carpet print that is the same kind of large kind of cloven hoof print. So it came in, whatever it was. It's not that he went out and got hooves. And then came back in. And then came back in. We think something hoofy. Hoofy got in here. Yeah. Codename Hoofy. Yeah, for now. It could suffer from hoofy. I write it down in my little notebook. Hoofy mouth. Codename Hoofy. Yeah, Hoofy. Hoofy. Okay. Well, I I was probably walking towards the graveyard, but when I saw Lois turn around, I I probably slowed way down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still moving. Yeah. And then I'm just like walking in place for a little bit. <laughs> just calisthenics. Yeah. I don't want to go uh, alone. That's my heart rate. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I turn around and go to the graveyard because I want no. to check that out. We have to. And I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come. I out. should probably go first. Exactly. But my, but the body language is very rigid. And say, well, I guess there's, I guess there's really, I guess there's really nowhere else to go. No, I think, yeah, I think saw a figure out there, so we should. It'll be fine, graveyard midday. Yeah, I mean, it's light outside. Not a source for uh, concern, to be sure. Mm. Uh, dead, uh, comfortably situated uh, below ground. Uh, below gramps. Where, where they shall remain. Look, old man, if you want to stay behind, you can stay behind. Excellent, but. I will, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going sp- to spend this time uh, enjoying uh, Thomas Kimball's company and talking to him about uh, possibly bipedal goats. Uh... What if he's the goat guy? Well, I'll find out very soon. Okay. Nevada says from like in the field. What if he's the goat guy? <laughs> he's the goat. <laughs> <laughs> Sky riding. <laughs> goat. Uh, <laughs> so what does the cemetery look like? Okay, so the, the three, three of you. Of us, I guess. Three of you. I don't know. Does Keiko go? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You have nothing to fear. She's okay. into this shit. I don't believe in ghosts, though. So. <laughs> you live in goats. 
<laughs> okay, so you 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 make your way uh, along the uh, along the path through the garden. It's you know the garden. I say it's it's been tended. It's been it's been clearly been well looked after for a number of years, but for the last twelve months or so, little maintenance has been done on it. Yeah. Um, but you know the, the a path is clearly discernible, going winding its way through the rear of the garden, and there's a line of trees which kind of encompasses the rear of the property. But the path goes through those trees, and on the other side, it's, you're immediately into the the rear of a cemetery. There, you know, there are headstones and mausolea and so on. It's not it's not particularly massive, but it's it's, it's clearly been there for some. Local. Is it well kept, or is it also? It's actually really well tended. Okay, so it's not a, yeah. an abandoned cemetery. No, no. And in fact, um, now you've gone through the tree line, you can see, um, you know. Maybe uh, you know, fifty yards or so over there, by 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 some uh, headstones, there is a, a man. Uh, he has a scythe, and he seems to be um, sweeping oh. the grass. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> in, the, in the movie version, there's this like big close up yeah, of the scythe blades <laughs> coming down, and then the grass. <laughs> And, uh, it's a BBC mystery intro. It's <laughs> he has his back to you, so um, I'm presuming you, are, you haven't, you know, shouted anything yet to him or no. whatever. But he, he has his back to you. But you can see a gardener or tender of some kind, um, you know, and clearly he seems to be doing a good job because every, everywhere looks pretty immaculate, even even for its age. Okay, perhaps this was the figure we saw. Mm. Um. I walk up to him and go, excuse me. Oh. Excuse me. Oh, you, hello. You, 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 you give him a bit of a fright. Um, uh, he turns around. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, hello. Oh, hello. Um, hello. Nice to meet you. Um, my name yes. is Luis. Yours? Uh, Jefferson. 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 This is Nevada and this is Keiko. Hello. You, Howdy. Not from round here, are you? He says in a strangey English accent. <laughs> <laughs> like it's, really, Michigan. it's really taken me there, yeah. yeah. I feel like I'm in Michigan right now. It's uh, deep Michigan. <laughs> yeah, deep Michigan. <laughs> um, I say... Uh, comes from old stock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I, uh, we're investigating um, a bit of a burglary that happened... Uh, the house nearby? You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? No. <laughs> no, nothing. Nothing. No. Are you... Are you with the police or something? Dude, this guy seems shady AF. <laughs> Could you give me a <laughs> spot hidden roll, please, with a bonus die? Oh. So, two of the D10 dice. Got it. Mega flips. Get it. And I can take the better one. Take the best result. 53. Okay. My spot hidden is 50. Do you want to spend three I points? I do. Of I really yeah. do. Okay. Keep those points. Le point. Okay. Yeah. So while you're talking and, and you instantly kind of get a feel on this guy and you kind of notice in his jacket pocket, sticking out the top, you can see the top of a bottle. Uh, it looks to your mind like a liquor bottle. Which in 1922 mm. would be against the old prohibition that's currently in force. Right. So this guy might be, just be a boozer. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't care if you drink while you cut grass. I mean, it's probably not. <laughs> 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 but you might be able to use the threat of exposure to get other information. Uh, I would not catch that. <laughs> but I would, I'd be like, "Hey, can I get a swig of that?" I have. Um, uh, you were not, not with the police. Yeah? This guy's got a bottle of liquor. <laughs> oh, do you? It's what nearly all gone. Uh, there's nothing left, really. Well, it would be right. I, found, I, bet I, found, a swig. I found it among I bet the stones. I found it among the graves. I've just taken it home to dispose of. How about this? <laughs> It's, I don't, it's probably been out there for a long time. It's probably gone off. I wouldn't touch it. I'd leave, I wouldn't worry about it. Well, 
Hmm. Um, well, um, just so we can be clear with our situation here, um, possession of it, even if you're disposing it, I, I'm not sure if, you know, the police would necessarily believe you. Um, we don't so, have to get the police involved. I mean, this is... I mean, I don't think we need to get the police involved is what I'm saying. I'm saying that we, we just need a little bit of information. Um, okay, well, that's And if you don't mind, sounds, we, we, will, we won't get the police involved. So. Sounds a little bit like a threat. Um, so <laughs> I totally think a that threat. maybe is an intimidate role. Oh, okay. That, I think it I, is I literally a threat. Let's find out. <laughs> It's a flat girl. Not bad. Oh, there I am. Oh yeah, but Not what is bad. but what is that into what is that what look is like? that threat look like? Yeah. I think we just saw it. It's like why well, it I, was very stumbling. I won't have to tell anybody. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Is it gonna be hard or is it just the regular? It's just a regular, I think. I don't know why I asked that. I was taking faith there. Uh oh, here. We... this is this is not the, the correct dice, but oh, this yeah. is an eighty. Which one? So, one, one. Yeah. You're in Trouble Town. I am Trouble, Trouble Town, Town USA. 86. So you can either push it. Or so you he kind of gives you a bit of an old-fashioned look, and kind of you can tell he's not quite convinced about what you're saying. However, you could use luck and change it and convince him, or you could push the role and really, you know, maybe Turn you want to kind of just come out and say, you know, a bit more directly. Uh, Tell me what I want, or you will so go to jail. So, if there's no yes. number for skill, we're great at it. Then you, if there's no number, you <laughs> automatically take, it's a hundred. You take the uh, you take the base level, which is the one in brackets next to the skill name. Oh, this is the best. So for pilot, it's one percent. If you try to just fucking fly a plane, no, you're yeah. in real trouble. But we have a question as you ask, asking about uh, whether luck points have a refresh, and uh, indeed they can refresh. It's not guaranteed, but to, at the start of a new session, you can try and replenish your luck um, in that way. Right. So, so what do you so, think? Uh, Lois? I will say. Um, <clears throat> so he said uh, that sounds like a threat. Yeah. He, he, will, he, he gives you a look, and he kind of he doesn't he, he won't say. It, Come out quite like that, but he, but he, but he kind of gives you. A, he knows what you're saying, and he's he's kind of calling you bluff, really. So it's okay. really you've either got to go full on or back off. Okay. Um, I say. Um, well, um, I think what we're actually saying here is we are investigating a um, we're investigating a burglary, and we want to know everything you know. And if you don't tell us, we don't mind going. To the police. Or we might even be the police. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's this awkward pause as this as he you can see the cogs whirring in his head thinking about um, this 19 year old girl who's telling him that she's <laughs> not on your own, you got you know, you're you're a pretty you know bracing chap. Yeah. Stood there talking about the police as well. So I think that adds some weight to it. So I, I let's let's you know, I think you've upped the stakes a little there. Mm -hmm. So let's have a, a roll. I'm gonna I'm gonna Give you a bonus die because Nevada is, it's you know, arms folded, arms folded, <laughs> looking a bit, you know, mean about this here, as well. So here, so toss this one. You have well. the, uh, you have the backup there Did to enforce, even, uh, to enforce your position. Do we even ask a question, or just go in being like, <laughs> she's, she's going hard. She's <laughs> going so hard. Tell me what I want to know. No messing. I was raised Catholic, so I also think it's very wrong that he's, he's <laughs> drinking. So we can just go with that. Oh, too. you're killing it here. So 30. 30. 30. Okay. He looks and it, he, he, he just crumbles. And it's just, it was, I, you know, I take, he just throws the bottle at you. Oh, take, yeah. take, do I have to take, take a reflex? Uh, nothing or? to do with it. <laughs> and um, uh, he says, I, uh, I had nothing to do with the robbery. I know nothing. I, there's things going on here that you don't know. <laughs> there's, there's all sorts happening. I, he says, it's not a good place to be. It's, it's good. It's all right in the daytime, but don't don't you be coming here at night. Oh, we don't want to come here at night, but we would like to know anything about maybe a go. <laughs> oh, and like gauge his reaction. He looks, he looks <laughs> and, 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 I'm just gonna float goat out there and see, <laughs> and no, see what happens. It's the law of attraction. You yeah. put a goat out into the universe, and a goat will return. <laughs> yes. You, you say you 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 say goat. <laughs> Yeah, like he hears something different. He hears ghosts. There, there are ghosts. Yes. No yes, goats. there are. <laughs> what are you drunk? No, there are no goats. <laughs> no goats. No. It's, he looks at you. No, just shakes his head a lot and turns back to you. No, the I don't ghosts, think this guy knows yes, what he's talking about. There, it's an old oh. graveyard. There's, 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 there's presences here. 
Yeah. Well, have you noticed any um, grave robbing lately, or anything, any any thefts in this area, anything like that? I normally, don't like to speak of it, but there are there have been disturbances here for some years. Nice. They mm. come in in the morning, and there's things have been moved. There's, Mm. Tomb, mausoleum, doors open where they shouldn't have been open. Locks broken. At first, you put it down to troublesome types and, and the like, but... Youth. But then... Teenagers, yeah. But it happens frequently. Doesn't mean it's ghosts. And once a whole coffin, a whole coffin unearthed, nothing inside it. Why would someone bury an empty coffin? How deep does this go? Six feet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm not there. That's no, fine. Um, um, is it specific people that that you feel like are missing from this graveyard? Well, are, I, are they connected? Oh, when I was a good one. A few years back, before I knew better, I resolved to stay out the night and to to confront ruffians and the like who would be doing this, disturbing the sleep of the dead. In the, the moonlight, I saw shapes. I saw them emerge, not from not from the road, not from the trees, through the mausoleum, out from the cold earth. They came, devils, devils, and I, I, I turned and said, I, I never, and I will never step foot in this place in darkness again. They yes. weren't, they weren't what I thought they were. Ghosts, demons, devils, whatever you like. That's what plagues this place, and I do my best to keep it clean, but I will not come back at night. Uh, can I make a history check to see if I know anything about this particular area of Michigan or this graveyard specifically? I'm going to need an extreme success because it's such a yeah. This is some in this is some deep knowledge here. Okay, extreme success. Uh, where did my history? Twelve. 12. No, I got a star, which is the worst. Yeah, so that's... Uh, yeah. 40. Yeah. 40 star. Man, sorry. Yeah, you're drawing a blank, unfortunately. Okay. Um, yes, he uh, he says, uh, uh, whatever whatever robbery you're looking into, there's nothing to do with this. That's a separate thing, I, I would say. But the footprints led from his broken or his open window to this graveyard. Well, I know nothing about that. Yeah. The creatures you saw, were they humanoid or were, did they appear to have some kind of animal features? Kind of see, he sort of stops and his eyes roll wide and he get, suddenly, you said goats and hooves. Yeah. The, the, they had the the feet of the devil there, cloven hooves they were. That's what I said. <laughs> but they were, they weren't men. No, they were. Goats. Beastal. Devils. Devils they were. Hellspawn, I name thee. What time do we think it is about, I mean, how long have we been talking to this guy? Oh, you're now, it's yeah. going to be 11 to 11.30. Yeah, so it's still early. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> It's probably this is probably a better time to try to gain access to the mausoleum. Yeah, can you show us uh, the one that you saw the goat man come out of? Ah, the it's so here. It's opposite the Kimball Stone. Do I notice? Does it say like Robert Goatman? It, it doesn't. No, it, it, there's a um, there's a very worn headstone that's flat on the uh, on the grass. That's um, he, and, and he kind of just points out and says, that's the Kimball stone. And the opposite, just exactly, is this large mausolea uh, with a door, with a, with a, um, a lock. So would this um, be Thomas' in the dad? Door. <sighs> no, no, because remember, Douglas was never buried. Douglas simply went well, That's what I'm saying. Missing. Who's, who's Kimball? Yeah, yeah, Which what Kimball? Kimball? What name? What given name? What you, are you asking, what are you asking him? Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, look at the stone. Oh yeah, I just want to go look at the stone. Oh, the stone. Stone just says um, uh, Arthur Pendrick, eighteen sixty-two. Why did you call this the Kimball Stone? 
Oh, oh, Mr. Kimball, you, that was his favorite spot for reading. Oh, In a they graveyard? just call it that. They just uh, call it that. He used to come out to this stone and read. Yeah, he's passed a day here, many hours a day, and we'd chat and talk about his 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 books uh, of, of travel. He'd tell me all about the world, and so he'd love so he knew lovely him well. chap. Yeah, he knew him well. <clears throat> so uh, this is back. So <laughs> we're gonna the, the the camera has to go, like go back to like the sitting room where um, Wentworth and Thomas Kimball have sat in. Dead silence <laughs> for several minutes. He's cough. There, <coughs> and then, then, there's, then there's just one cough. Yeah. <clears throat> and then the very next part is I'm like stiff legged. I'm like physically forcing the rest of my body to go to oh, okay. the graveyard. You you have a conversation with Kimball, as you say. He doesn't he doesn't say a great. He doesn't no, know a lot. He doesn't more, know much. But, yeah. he, but he, he he will he will kind of confirm, meta, meta in a meta way. Yeah. That Kimball, from what he knows from the, what the neighbours have told him about his uncle, that he did spend a lot of time in the graveyard mm -hmm. and was wont to sort of sit on a particular pew and, and read his books there. So you get the, that kind of confirmed. the Kimball Stone yeah. exactly. And so it's like that'll be like the voiceover while I'm walking to the place. Okay. Kimball stone. Yeah, I mean, it seems to me if we're going to take a look at this mausoleum, we it's much better if we do this in the daytime. So he would have sat next to this stone, and it's opposite the mausoleum. Exactly. So he would and have considered been... that mausoleum while reading his books of evil occult magic. As you um, are taking in the the graveyard and looking mm -hmm. at the you know looking at the mausoleum, and so you you do. You do sort of become aware of all the ravens that are sat atop the mausoleum now, particularly the one that's been pointed out. There's a good 20 or so sort of, you know, dark birds sat perched on there. Oh, Pretty silent. If, if you didn't know better, you swear they were watching you. However, birds don't really do that, do they? They look around and that, you, know, mm -hmm. you tell yourself. Ah. I throw a rock up there and just see if they scatter. Oh, they scatter. Yeah. they scatter. Do they come right back? Well, they kind of scatter to the nearby trees and perch there. Dude, Corvids remember shit like that, dude. You're going to have problems for years. <laughs> yeah. What, dude? <laughs> this, this type of bird. What's it called? A big crow. What did you call it? I've been drinking all afternoon. What it's did you call it? <laughs> a Corvid. A Corvid. Okay. I, I'm not proud. Okay. I am proud. <laughs> yeah, I know so many great words. Yeah, I bet you do. Uh, <laughs> you couldn't just them. say crow. No, I wouldn't. No. And you know that. I don't know what you're talking about. I'd use context clues. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so um, is this like a, is it a tomb that we can go into? Yeah, so it's, it's, so, um, it's a, you know, above ground mausolea, um, a fairly squarish building. Uh, it has two large kind of brass kind of colored uh, doors set in its front. Um, there is a, uh, uh, an inbuilt lock into, uh, into the front of them. Um, it looks pretty old. Um, there, are, there are numerous sort of scratch marks around the doors, um, particularly around the, the handles. The, the metal is scratched. Uh, our Artwork or engraving, any sort of. Um... It's, it's, it's a it's a kind of geometric design, okay. um, just a repeating kind of series of lines, but not. It doesn't jump out to you as weird. No or anything. facade with no sculptures. Okay. No, it's very plain in that hmm. way. Uh, I imagine I look back before we like investigate further, and I see Wentworth just like yeah. standing on the edge. Of yeah. The graveyard. Exactly. Yeah. As though, as though there is some kind of invisible wall. <laughs> yes, exactly. And I say, Wentworth, you coming? Soon. <laughs> Very soon. Just You don't have a lot of time, old man. Taking it all in. It's 11 a.m. Yes. Shouldn't you be eating dinner? <laughs> <laughs> it's not dark, it's fine. I, I, look, at, I, I look at my uh, cameo again, snap it, and then I just leave it on the chain in my hand, and then walk into the... Uh, grave place. The grave. The grave. Whatever they call it. Whatever, whatever you call it with the graves. Graveyard. So is it locked? 
Okay. Well, it you, is. It opens. <gasps> is it so? Is the um, groundskeeper guy still Jefferson. here? Jefferson. He's Jefferson. Is this he, supposed to be open? Should this be unlocked? It is supposed to be locked, but but for many years. I've come in the morning and it has been a jar, so now I simply push it to... Everything here is a jar. This keeps fucking happening. Things are just turning into jars. Uh, do I recognize the claw marks? Like, are they enormous? Or are they like, does it look like... They're not enormous, but they're, they're, like they're not fingernails? insignificant. Okay. They're, 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 um, there's a lot of kind of surface scratching. So, yeah. you know, if somebody had pretty, you know, reasonably long fingernails and kept opening the door. I don't, I don't, whatever they it. are, but their some hands of the, are not what, designed to grab human stuff. Yeah. What kind of stone is it? It's, um, it's a kind of, the, the fascia is kind of onyx. Mm. Mm. Onyx. I was not picturing That's, that. That's okay. okay. That definitely kind of takes things in a yeah. direction. Yeah. It really <laughs> does, doesn't it? <laughs> some kind of way. <laughs> There's a family brand being executed here. <laughs> All right. Onyx. Okay. So that's a hard rock. Um. Oh, no, no, not the doors themselves. The actual. Yeah. The, the facial of the the building. Yeah, is the on facade it. sort of. But the actual doors are kind of got this bronze kind of fascia, so mm -hmm. it's metal. Okay. And the scratches are in the metal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll just you know I'll swing it open. I'll swing open okay. the door. <laughs> Opens in and. Um, you can see a, uh, a square, a fairly dark. There's some kind of little skylights in the in the in the roof, let some light through. Um, and basically, all that's in the middle is a is a, uh, a stone uh, sarcophagus on a on a raised kind of platform. I say, uh, it just sort of silhouetted by the light uh, in the doorway. I say, we've entered your domain, Mister Jones. No, this isn't my tomb. What I mean to say, Mr. Jones, is that you must... I haven't even picked out a plot yet. <laughs> this well, is someone I mean. else's tomb, but I'll tell you one thing. I know tombs. <laughs> and I'd like to take a look around this one. You take a look around. Could I have either a archaeology roll oh. or a spot hidden roll on for you? I'm going to do archaeology. Do you know from tombs? I know from tombs. <laughs> Twenty-nine, oh. is that a nine? Yeah, I think, yeah. Because it's not a zero, right? Or is it... <laughs> it's the star. Oh, so uh, that will be a 20. Yeah, so even better. Even oh, okay. So you yeah. murder it. Yeah, I murder it. 70 is what I'm... Oh, okay, so yeah, so that's a great roll. Um, so you, you look around and instantly you can see that this, 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 uh, the lid of the sarcophagus has been moved numerous times. There are marks, grooves in the stone where it's been moved continually in a repeated fashion for quite some time, you would say, maybe years. Jeez. Yeah. But, but it's closed now. Exactly. But but the thing is, right, it's like, well, who's going to come in? Who's going to come, like, open this thing? Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like, even if it weren't locked... It's probably fine. I mean, nobody's going to come in here. Yeah, this is probably a mummy. Mm. <laughs> a 80, 90% chance. I don't know what else it could possibly be. Does your science have an answer for this? <laughs> Underground society? Um, I I'm. I think I'm standing outside probably with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right I'm trying finish. to act tough. Like, you don't need more than... Two people in there? What do you see? This sarcophagus has been disturbed many times over the course of many years. By a mummy. By probably a mummy. A mummy? Mmm. I don't think it's a mummy. <clears throat> you don't know it's not? <laughs> Prove that it's not. Uh. Yeah, I say couldn't hurt to. If it's been opened so many other times, I mean... Uh, Want me to push it open? It, it, couldn't, it couldn't hurt to... Take a peek within. Yeah, I mean, this is what I do. I open sarcophagi. Yeah. You're the sarcophagi. They call me the sarcophagi. <laughs> God damn it, you beat me to it. Uh, gee, just, uh, just waiting for that to drop. Yeah, 1 800. <laughs> sarcophagi. <laughs> for all your sarcophagus needs. So you are adept at opening sarcophagi. Yeah. 
So you, know, you don't even need to make a roll. You can just, you can, you can see where it's been pushed. So you know that if you push here, it will just. Yeah, it's, you open on accident. You're like, oh, oh, oh shit. Yeah. Sorry. It's open. I pop the top. Pop the top. A freshness seal. Yeah. And inside, you're expecting to see? Uh, a corpse. One or more mummies. Yeah, a mummy. Okay. What you find is a remains, uh, the kind of. Mouldering, dried remains Ugh. of some coffin wood, and bel- and oh. amongst that, in the stonework of the actual sarcophagus that held what was probably once a built coffin, a large hole going down. So I opened it, and there's a big hole going down. Yeah. Is there stairs? <laughs> Well, looking in, you can see that it's, um, there are, it, it's not particularly deep, but it does seem to descend. So there is rudimentary grooves, stair-like. Oh, oh, oh. You could probably <coughs> climb in there if you really wanted to. I, I, underneath my breath, you hear me say, unfortunate. Mm, mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Um. The two of you stood in there as once the hole is revealed and you come just peering over, scent. there's a musty kind of heavy kind of scent kind of lingers up from the uh, the depths below. I want to take a closer look inside. Okay. The whole so thing. when you say you want to take a closer <laughs> look, what do you mean? Are you li- literally peering in, sticking your head down, climbing into the hole? I want to climb this in. This specific kind of question makes me nervous. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, go for it. How so much of your arm great. do you put yeah. in the hole? Yeah, exactly. Is it How just up to your elbow? Or? <laughs> you lose 80%? Whole <laughs> percentage die. But you feel, you feel enamored to just climb on top of the sarcophagi and just, it's a big enough hole to, you don't have to squeeze to get in today, you can just lower yourself down. My traits say I'm adventurous, like to be busy and get our hands dirty, so. That sounds perfect. I want to yeah. go in the hole. I love it. I love that the, the whole scene is like set up, <laughs> and you're like looking at it, you scoot across, you're like looking in, and then all of a sudden, like before anyone can say <laughs> boo, it just jumps in. <laughs> yeah, Keiko's I, crawling in now. No, I, I take a step forward and it's like, but it's too late. Yeah, I don't. I don't try to stop her. I think it's cool. Yeah. Okay. Well, you, you start. To, and now, do you have? Because um, obviously, once you get, you know, down a few steps, it's pretty dark down there. Um. Did you remember to pack that flashlight? I have a science kit. Maybe let's make a look. Burn some chemicals. See if you, you know, right. just have uh, a flashlight on you, perhaps. Luck. So luck is a torch. One here. As they would yeah, say in Michigan. Torch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in deep Michigan. In deep Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> so the luck roll is like where you go. Yeah. Uh, uh. Mm. Did I put it in the refrigerator? A seven. That looks like a fail. So it's pretty. You get down. You know. You get yeah. down a few. Fi- you know. A few <laughs> feet. As you, uh, you can see, and you can see with just the bit of light that's coming down as your eyes start to get a little bit acclimatized. You can see that this this carries on down at a, at a kind of a fairly, um, a, you know, uh, not too steep kind of angle, um, continues downwards in a, in a more or less a sort of a spiral fashion, uh, but beyond you know, beyond a few uh, a few feet, it, it just turns to darkness. Guys, I don't have a, I don't, I forgot to pack I mean, my can flashlight. I, can I check to see if I remember to bring one? Yeah, sure. Well, in gear and possessions, you might have some good stuff. I don't actually have a. A light uh, flashlight. Okay. I have a handgun. Just fire it continuously. <laughs> Shoot it down into the hole. Yeah, I got you. I got you. <laughs> Crawl by the flashes. Uh, uh, no, no, we're not gonna. Okay. I don't, I I don't have one either. That? Sure. Okay. Sure. Uh, I can. I don't even know what a flashlight is. Yeah. This is the right dice, right? Okay. Uh, 82. Eight. I, All right. I, 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 no, I, t- I turn to the keeper and I say, Sir, I understand that you don't spend a lot of time here in the later hours of the evening, but certainly you must have a, a torch or a lantern, something of this kind, uh, for, for those who, who tend these areas. Oh yes, the, the the grave diggers' lanterns. Would it be possible to? Of 
Uh, that's a, quite a, a novel turn of phrase, certainly. Uh, I suppose anyone could use the lantern. Uh, yes, 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 I, I, I'll, I'll fetch them for you. See. Before you go, do you know anything about this hole? Is this hole what supposed hole, to be what, here? What hole would that be? No, there's, a, there's a hole under this sarcophagus. Is that normal? He's the expert. No. Yeah. No, that would be where the devil spawn come from. Gotcha. That's what I thought. <laughs> Just want to make sure we were on the same page. I wouldn't be going down there. Well, she's already down there, but I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> Go get that lantern. Disappears off. Comes back momentarily with four lanterns, funnily enough. Oh, nice. The oil oh, burners. Wow. He's got the rod. Um... <clears throat> Absolutely. So I'll I'll, uh, I'll tend to these, uh, get them going, and then I'll start distributing them. Yep. And then one I'll 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 reach over, and like, right low. So how much of the arm do you got? Eighty percent. Eighty percent arm. <laughs> okay. So um, so for the moment you you you're getting past the lantern, but is anyone else following down or? Uh, I hesitantly stand outside and, and, and follow. I will crawl down after. I think that's something that Nevada would do. Mm-hmm. And you just said you were going yeah. to? I can't, I can't With help gritted it teeth. Now. With gritted teeth. Uh, yeah, I mean, I remember the journal entry that says Network of Tunnels, and I'm like, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I know I have to do this. And uh, you're, you're, you're uh, less inclined to go down? No, I, he's, he's going he's gonna to commit... He, he's gonna he's gonna commit to this at this juncture. Okay. Okay. It's much. I, I suspect it's much more difficult for me at sixty eight than it is for the the rest of these seasoned explorers and youths. But I'll do my best. I'll I'll do it in the way that has provides maximum physical comedy. <laughs> <laughs> no, do you lean over, just over, tip over, and yeah. tumble yeah. down? Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Um, Okay, but you are you are you know you're at the vanguard into the the unknown world below the graveyard uh, with your with your lantern and you, indeed yes you were you were right There's, there is a there is an earthen tunnel that that, that spirals down uh, downwards. Um, it's clear that this this tunnel has existed for some years. I mean there are it is it is um, there are various plants and roots. Growing into it, the, the right clearly, into the stone. The, yeah, the, into the stone and into the earth, and, and as you go down in purely into the earth, that seem to provide provide some sort of stability to the actual, you know, tunnel. Um, Is it just big enough for a person to move through? It's, it's a it's big. It's bigger than a person, so it's easy for a person to move oh, through. But okay. it's not gigantic. Yeah. It's not you know you can't you still you know one abreast as it were rather than two abreast in terms of the actual you know diameter. Of yeah, it. like I picture like a. Bipedal goat and like about that size. <laughs> it's about that about height. that size. Got yeah. it. Okay. Goat if, size. If you yeah, if you have had hooves, it would probably be easier. But Go ahead. Um, so you, you, I'm presuming you're you're continuing down unless you say. I want to just. I'm convinced that these are people dressed oh, in. Exactly. <laughs> it's like for Kiko, it's going to be like okay, this is like some. This is like a local club, like a rugby club. Right, it's just that <laughs> they hold their meetings they underground fun. in a in a damp hole. They wear goat pants. Yeah, I make sure that my pistol is loaded and ready. Yeah. Okay. I so also this, have my switchblade <clears throat> out. Yeah. So this is this is like um, uh, it's like a for for Keiko, it's like a Scooby Doo type thing. We're just gonna find a person. You're who gonna has pull a, the mask off. Oh, yeah. yeah. Exactly. She's totally Velma. Yeah. Okay. I'm ready to shoot a goat man. So, you, so your gun is drawn. Yeah, I'm, has to be. I'm crawling around like oh this. Oh God, someone's okay. gonna die. Okay, so and you're, and you're, you're you're second in the line, aren't you? Yes. In terms of uh, in terms of the, uh, like the order. My head. With, with your the, gun. With yeah. the with the snug <laughs> Gosh, nose. Hot. The it's <laughs> really hot oh down here, you guys. Whoo! It's just drawing rivulets. Yeah. <laughs> And I drop it off. <laughs> but luckily your attention is forward rather than behind, so <laughs> Just, nothing you to don't worry know, about You here. don't know where your vector occludes. I, I on the other hand, like, flop sitting watching <laughs> this happen right in front of me. <laughs> my, my monocle keeps falling out. Yeah. <laughs> it comes to it, it kind of levels out. And, and as you kind of hold the lantern around, as, as the others are coming, coming up behind you, you realize there, are, there is a network of tunnels. There is a number of, um, you know, exits from from oh, this sort so of main so tunnel. So we reach like a 
Grand Central Station yeah, Warren type that, that situation. seems to you know go you know from the down. goes across the entirety of the of the of the cemetery. Um, wow. Hmm. How many tunnels? Many. Okay. Many. Are so, any? but where you are, roughly, you know, there are there are eight paths away from where you are now. Um, can wow. I look on the ground and see if there's footprints leading a specific mm -hmm. direction? The most trodden okay. path, maybe? Okay. Yes. Um, yes. Could I have either a track or a spot hidden roll? Track or spot hidden? I might prefer a track if you don't mind. Oh, 64. Son of a... The number of the beast. Uh, <laughs> is it though? No. So what's what is your fifty? So uh, you'd have 50. to spend a fourteen luck. That's a lot of luck. A or lot of luck. Push it for a coin flip. You, or you could uh, maybe get you know get right. You know, try try going down a few, checking you know, see, yeah. backtracking a few times to see which one seems the most. Yeah. Uh, you know, to push the roll. Yeah, I'll push the roll. Okay. All right. I I, I support this. Yeah. I want to yeah? be there when this happens. So you crawl down one of these by yourself a little bit. Twenty six. Okay, so That's yeah, it. you know you, you you know build yourself up and go back and forth a few times, and it's a bit creepy on your own as you get down a few of these tunnels yeah. and root and you, and, and yeah, the, yeah, these kind of things touch around you. Like root or something or an earthworm yeah. jumps down your back and you kind of you pull it out. Um, but eventually, you find you, you find one of the tunnels. You know, maybe in the middle one out of the eight. Um, that seems to be the most used. Peopled. Okay. Yeah, they, they're now definitely kind of dense in the ground. You know, more kind of evidence of the, uh, kind of hoof marks, as it were. Um, you feel that if you know if the one clearly was used more than any others, this is the one. Okay, okay. Uh, I say, uh, it looks like we should go down this one. This one's the most used. So, uh, Kiko, after you. Kiko? Uh, Kaiko. But Kiko? Kiko? <laughs> Kiko after. <laughs> Lewis? <laughs> Lewis? Yes. And I like guide you. Mm -hmm. All right. Kiko. Yeah, I'll go. Kiko turned us on. Okay. I'm like, this one? You want us to go down this, this <laughs> yeah, hole? Yeah, you could. All right, yep. We're all going. All right, everybody, this way. <laughs> everybody go. Everybody in front of me. Okay, so could I have a spot hidden? Spot hidden, yes. And could I have a listen roll? Please? You can. With ease. Even at my advanced age. You got one of those, like, horns? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the listening horn. Oh, yeah, no. listening horn. 60. <laughs> Um, 80 uh, percent. Okay, and, doubt you hear and shit. did you make that one? Or? I, I know, I did 60, but you know what? I'll knock down 15, why not? Okay. Woo! Damn, expenditures. Okay, so yeah, you, you know, you're carrying on nothing, nothing um, out of the ordinary. ordinary. Um, however, at the front, um, as you're heading down this tunnel, you, just at the edge of the, the lamp's light, there is something moved across, at something large. Hooven? <laughs> it was a dark, <laughs> shape. a dark humanoid-like shape. Guys, <clears throat> quickly. Guys, I think I saw something. So we. we that we, could be our mummy. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm gonna uh, impulsively. Uh, Take a couple steps forward and hold the lantern up. Just try to catch whatever it is against the wall in the light. Mm -hmm. Okay. As you kind of gather multiple lamps and kind of spread the light around a little bit more, you're looking, you can't, you can see the kind of edge, you can see the kind of wall of the tunnel that kind of goes off into darkness. And you think for a moment you think well, no, it's, we've, it's gone we can't see it and then you realize you can make out what looks to be this large kind of clawed hand yeah. so the tunnel the tunnel they're all looking down the tunnel you can see around the edge yeah there must be a passage oh. this way and something is down here but the hand 
the clawed hand is around the edge of the tunnel. And you can see that it's got these kind of like it's human it's a human like hand, five fingers, but the but there are these terrible kind of yellow stained brown long claw like tips to the ends of them. And 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 the the flesh is this kind of pale blotchy brown and there are it seems to have some sort of dirt encrusted or mold encrusted on it it's i'm not sure but can i have a sanity roll some kind of a, 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 a accumulation from so, who so um i think all of you as you see this in the light so our sanity rolls sanity rolls are like other rolls Functionally speaking, my current sanity level is like my skill level. Yes. I need to roll that or below. You need to roll below your current sanity. Well, here, I'll do I'll do mine. Uh, I'll test this uh, mechanic for everyone. Okay. And then you can succeed based on on you know my example. Thirty percent. Well, that sounds like a pass to me. Exactly. Okay. You don't give a shit about these hands. No. This hand. Show me another hand. <gasps> 38. 38. I like what I'm seeing. That sounds good. You're all hardened investigators. Keiko. Keiko is... Um, the double Krakens. Double Krakens. Oh, oh no, that's the, no, that's that's the F word. That's not uh, good. I turn to you and say, oh, oh, is this a man dressed up? That's 100, <laughs> which is the worst possible result. But we'll come to you in a second. Let's okay. see what you roll. You don't want to fumble this roll. 44. Yep. I'm okay, good. that's a pass. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Hands, whatever. Your hand, your hand grips the. Yeah. Oh. The hand is still, and it's. You're like, oh, but then this is kind of like movement, and it's kind of like. For a moment, you could just be a, maybe a sculpture or some dead thing encased in the wall, but then <sighs> the fingers kind of just move, and you get. Oh, it's alive! And um, unfortunately, you take the full sanity loss. Which would normally be a roll of a one d six, but because you fumbled, it's the automatic maximum. So six points of sanity are lost by you. Wow! Which triggers something else now, because you have lost five or more points in one go. You may have a episode of madness. Dude, but Kiko's the perfect person yeah. for this. Yeah. However, to. however, exactly. there's one get out. Maybe, maybe your brain. Shuts it out and says, "No, no, no! I can handle this. And I will just. I did. It didn't move. The hand did not move. I, you know, that I was just. That was just the light playing tricks on me. So to see whether your brain tells you that or not, is you need to make a intelligence roll. Okay. Okay. So, but this, this is. You know, I mentioned earlier. There's one roll in the entire game where you don't want to make it. You want to fail the roll. This oh, is the roll. Funny. Oh. That is. Awesome. <laughs> you, want to, so well, you, you want to oh, unknow it. Oh, you want yes. to unknow it, and also you don't like you don't want to rationalize. You don't want to you don't want to understand the true implications of what you're seeing. You want to rationalize it away. Yeah, that's you want to forget. So, it. but your but Keiko's intellect is be, is high. I bet. I 60. Say 60. You're sixty. Yeah. So she wants sixty or higher. Higher. Hindu, yeah. Ignorance is bliss. So and <laughs> and yeah. obviously yeah. this role we don't we can't spend luck on this role. And, and you can't sense. push it. Can't you just like, can't push we're already it. fucking pushing it. Lean can't in. you just scream like, take off your glove? <laughs> of course. Eleven. Eleven. So you make the roll. So you, you can't rationalize it away. You have to accept that you saw this inhuman hand move, which means the hand must be connected to something else, oh, which must mean that devil spawn, the demons, <laughs> no, the goat men, that it's all true. It's like some taxonomy. As you, like the seven kingdoms of life. It's like you realize that there is this eighth dark kingdom. <laughs> Can she Science like fails you because you know, you've already been through all the all the field guides today. You've checked that, you know, this car there isn't an animal that that suits all this. Science has failed you. And you scream, you know, and and you start, and you and your scream turns into laughter as you begin to laugh hysterically at the cosmic joke uh, that, that all your learning has not prepared you for any of this, and uh, you're laughing loudly for five rounds. Fifty basically. years. So, so oh five God. minutes or so, you are you are laughing and just can't pull yourself together, but. Your laughing is echoing down through the tunnels, um, and you're hearing this echo going, oh, <laughs> it's all true. Oh. 
The rest of you, what are you doing? Well, I am I am turned and focused, absolutely. Like this was sort of our axis. I felt like approaching this from a, a literary, scientific study thing, generally speaking, because our sanity is so high, I think most of the time we go on these, it's somebody's uh, somebody's cat got out, right? But I, I see, like this is an opportunity for me to try to reassert um, some of the like the underpinnings that we know, uh, and so I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna just like try to talk her out of this, like try to talk her down. Yeah, sure, okay. Do you have um, any skill in psych? Um, uh, I do have some psychology, actually. Psychology. Okay. Let's now. I think, given the circumstances, as, as it was a fumbled role, um, I think it's going to be a hard. You're going to need a hard Almost success certainly. for sure. And so, for me, a hard success on psychology will be 20 because it's half, okay. right? All right. Easy. Easy. No. No. It's not easy. Okay. All the pieces here. But it is only five minutes in, 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 in real time, in a sense. So, so it does pass. By the time you've, you yeah. talked to you almost feel that maybe you did yeah, have a... Maybe I loosened maybe, the maybe, maybe, yeah. I would, being reckless and jumping in without thinking, I would probably charge towards this hand. Yes. Of course. So you, Gun drawn. drawn I, I want to come around that drawn. corner and see what's there. And, and what are you? What are you doing at this point as well? Um, I think that I would be so stunned by her laughter. Oh yeah. I'd just be kind of sitting there going, "It's fine." And so I'm just trying to. So you are her. trying to rationalize it. And, right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Fine. However, the bardo is a man of action. Let it Absolutely. not be said that you shirk, you know, responsibility of, you know... I don't even know what shirk means. Indeed. So you run down a tunnel towards this thing, and as you run down, it steps into your lamplight. It comes away from the side tunnel it was standing in, and you see in full light of the lantern the full uh. shape and size of this, which can only be described as thing. It is man-like, it's man-shaped, it's crouched. It has these long yellow tal talon claws. Its feet end in cloven hooves. It's hairy, it's, but, it, but it also has, it's caked in this kind of, what you can only describe as grave mold. And its face isn't human. It's, it's more like this kind of bestial kind of dog-like thing with snarling teeth and beady kind of yellow eyes and pointed ears. <laughs> okay, well. As, as, as you Mom? Have, as it opens its mouth and sees you, as it raises its claws towards you almost to, is it to attack, is it to, is it to ward you away, you don't know. Make a sanity roll. Oh, because okay. now, no, now you're not just seeing the paw. Now you've seen the whole thing. The whole thing. thing. Uh, okay. You yeah, know what to do. I can do that. What is this base, Sanity? Uh, right now I'm at 50. Real? Because you already saw some shit. I've seen some shit. I'd climb around in these tombs all the time. 48. 48. Oh, it's right you're, there. You're a man Whatever. of action. You're fine. You, you get, no, I'm, I'm dated worse. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? It's standing there, it's raised its claws, it's opening its mouth. You this kind of guts. I, I swipe blood. left. I want to I wanna shoot it. You're going to swipe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, yeah, I pull the trigger. I don't. I don't use Tinder. Is, does that mean you want to? Fuck I don't this know. Thing, or does that mean that you don't want? I honestly don't know. Which I, way I is figured the... I would be fine with either way okay. the joke went. <laughs> I actually don't know either, but I'm in my head canon. Do you want to fuck this thing? Yeah, <laughs> it's like yes, please. Yeah, <laughs> let's do it. Turn the goat up. <laughs> Boom! I don't know how the, how the combat works. Oh, it's fine. right in here, dude. Look okay. at your weapon. So look under your uh, handgun. Handgun. And you'll see you've got your three oh, classes. Oh, regular, yeah. hard, or extreme. Yeah, so you just... He's right in front of me. He's right in front of me. So I'm I'm going to give you a... Because it's basically point-blank range. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to give you a bonus die in that roll. Oh, okay. Okay. So you just want to get the lowest score you can. Uh, well, 12. 12. Okay, does that... That sounds like a hard success. It's, is, it, is it good enough for an extreme? Eight would be extreme. Okay, uh, now you can use luck. Use luck. To lower it to an extreme if you want. Now, <clears throat> what you need to know is... Yeah. Lowering a, a weapon result uh, to an extreme success means you do more damage. So you can basically oh, buy okay. the crit with your luck points once you hit your thresholds. So your I, could spend, thresholds. I could spend four more... That's a cheap buy, I yeah, think. Yeah, I would do that. Okay. Versus goat. Yeah, so we have to do less damage. That'd be great. Yeah, yeah. I'm down to 52, but 
Okay. Sure. Okay. So on that line, it should give you a damage, I think it's 1d10. 1d10. So, uh, so because it's extreme result, you find a, uh, a weak point, you know, uh, the bullet hits a, uh, an important organ or some sure. kind. So what you do is maximum damage plus a roll. So it's a 10 oh, plus 10 a 1 plus 10. 10. Is that the start? So the start that's, 10? That's, uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's twenty damage, which is now that uh, is handling which shit. Which is significant yep. damage. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Right. I'm gonna make a. Uh, I'm gonna make a, a secret roll. That I'm not gonna tell what's for, but I will see what the result is. Seventy-seven. That's bad for okay. me. Okay. <laughs> Good. Okay. You you shoot. It's the, 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 you know, the noise echoes around the chamber, the, there's a screaming uh, and, and the laughter dies off, there's a single shot fires out and um, you hit the beast square in the middle of its forehead and it just as it comes out to leap forward, it, the bullet penetrates through its forehead, the rem most of its brains or whatever it, is it has in its head fall out the back as it flies backwards, bang, into the soft damp earth of the tunnel and lies there shaking in, in spasm. Oh. Welcome to Nevada. <sighs> We're in Michigan. <laughs> At this point, <laughs> as, you, as, you, as, you, as you blow the smoke from your pistol and think, you know, I, nothing, you know, nothing's going to worry me. Yeah. We, have the, we have this all in hand. Yeah. Is when you hear the loud cries and growls all around you in the darkness Oh. From what sounds like more than one other of these things down here. All right. You also all hear it as well. Uh, does everybody else have guns? <laughs> some, no. It sounds like they're angry for some reason. <coughs> uh, are hmm. you, are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm great. Uh... What is that? So, so I walk over to where he is. Okay, you see, you, I mean, you see this thing, and it's it just so everyone can hear it, right? Still, and the, uh, the last spasm, and it just lies dead. This kind of hideous, kind of dog-like humanoid. Okay. I say, out the way we came. Yes, yes, yes. And so I hear that, and then with the voice is completely even, very soft, and I say to Kiko, I say. I think there's a little more tea back at the house. That sounds really nice. Why don't we go back and get This some place is fucking crazy. There's dog men everywhere. As we got to get out of here. Going on and you you're looking and you're going back to yeah, come back to yeah. you see this dark shape from behind coming up and you see one of these things rising over the top. Of uh, of Avery and uh, and and you can't suppress it as you just, can't it, the, but it, well, it doesn't even. You can't even make a noise. It's, it's, it's <clears throat> behind you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm gonna swing while this is happening. I'm just gonna swing my lantern at it and try to break the lantern and the fire okay, over it. Fine. That's, cool. uh, that's not on here. So that, that's uh, that's basically a, a fighting brawl, which is under your unarmed. Oh, same. Yeah. It's yeah. all in the category. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I'm just gonna try to. Uh, Expel all the oil on this thing. Yeah, sure. That is, I would say, more than twice my skill level. So, <laughs> so you you throw, you know, you go to Just try and swing, swing, yeah, and and actually you release it as it kind of glances off this thing as your as your oh, no. lamp falls down behind it in I don't a tunnel. I see any of this. As you, you see, uh, you, you see this horrible creature. Let's have a, a sanity roll. Oh. Oh, because now the light is just cast yeah, it. You can, yeah, get the full kind of full evil. Full on. Oh, man. 60. That's 20. 20? Uh, yeah, it's a two. Two? So, wow. You know, you, your resolve is strong. Yeah. And, and you know, you, while, you know while, while there's a little bit of, uh, a little bit of quaking. No, he, you, has, you, no, he has to be, you, like, but it was like, I can't quite, like, I can't, like, get the diaphragm underneath the phrase, but it's just like, your age is at an end, beast. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, but I don't believe it for a second. <laughs> what, what are you doing? Um, uh, will I be able to have enough ability to use to want to help with my hockey stick? Oh yeah, you're in control of your character. Okay. You, you passed the hysteria, the okay, hysteria cool. now. Yeah. 
Do you have a hockey stick? I have a hockey stick. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. So I don't know where she keeps it, but she has a hockey stick. Always. Okay. Um, so what do you want to do with a hockey stick? I want to... Casey Jones on these guys. I wanted to help Wentworth attack this okay. monster so that we can get a head start and So as, 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 as the, the, the lamp goes bouncing down the corridor, you basically sort of pass, you know, pass by and do a whack yep. kind, yeah. of, kind of thing, okay? Uh, I yell, because uh, I hear growling still, right? And I see oh, the, the whole place is yeah. Of course. I go, uh, I say, I, I yell, stay back, or what happened to your friend will happen to you too. <laughs> I can't promise that. <laughs> Don't make me a part of this. <laughs> That's unfair of you. <laughs> Take it. And then uh, I run over to the one that's attacking them and I pull out my switchblade. Okay, Just well, well like... before you get there, because oh, okay. you, basically, the, you, one down this corridor, this yes. tunnel, there's, there's the two of you at the moment with the, with the dead one, yeah. you shot, and you two further back, right. about to turn around, there's this one behind you. So, but that's before you right. get there, you realize there's more coming in front of you that are running. You can yeah. see them running towards you, about to kind of pounce towards you. Oh, God, okay. So do you want to sort of stay there, or are you going to run back towards... Oh, there's another one down here as well. Uh, I'm going to run away from the pack of demonic beings, um, and then I'm going to um, say, yell, run, and then maybe... Just run. Yeah, just run. Okay. I'm just going to freak fine. the fine. fuck okay. out. Okay, <laughs> fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Um, okay, um... When we get into like a big combat kind of situation, yeah. um, the way we just sort of organize that is with dexterity in terms of the order of who goes, oh, who goes, smooth. who's going wherever. So, all I need to know is do you all have a dexterity of 60 or above? No. Yes. Uh, no. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. And yours no. is? Mine is the 60 year old 40. 40? Mine's 50. You're fit. Okay. So, fine. So, basically, you two guys will go first, as well as me, okay. uh, and then obviously followed by you two. Okay. <laughs> Can't do. So, okay, so, uh, you run back, okay, so you start to run back away from this, away from the creatures, luckily shielded from the ones by your companions at the back of you, so you're kind of relatively okay. Yeah, uh, you're, yeah, you're, yeah, yeah. You're in a good position. What are you doing? So I, I sense that there are some coming from in front of me, yeah. and there's one behind me. Yeah. It's engaged. There's with one on our way out. Yeah. You know, there's one back there, but he's yeah. not, you, you, you know he's not directly behind you. But uh, yeah. But if I were to turn and try to run the way I came, would mm -hmm. I see him? You, yeah, you, you, you would see your colleagues, and you could see that there's this one down the further. Yeah. Down the corridor, so yeah. we're getting out of here. I want to shoot this one that's on the way okay. out. You do get the sense that it's pretty close behind you, just so you know. Oh yeah, you don't have time to shoot. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, you can you can turn and shoot, but you will expose your back. I'll take a shot into the darkness in front of me. I attack the darkness. <laughs> okay. Well, you can see the darkness is moving. It's not, you know. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I take a shot at whatever's like right. A warning in. shot type thing. Well, no, not a warning. Like, kill. Just, like just a, right in the middle. Yeah, right in the, right right in the middle. middle. Shot. <laughs> okay, fine. Okay. Uh, give it. Give me a firearm roll again. Okay. We're looking for the good number. Right. However, uh, because these know, they've seen what you can do with your fire stick. Uh, Let's see 18. You, 18. So, that's Whoa. so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, these creatures aren't stupid. They're going to try and, you know, jump out of the way of this shot, which may give you a penalty on that roll. So let's just see if I do any good. Um, so I get 61, 61, which is not quite good enough. So your shot stands okay. uh, and does damage. That's a D10. So a D10. No, that's only four. Okay, so four. Okay, so you take uh, it takes four damage. Uh, you, you the shot hits. You hear a ah, sort of a painful kind of ah. It's uh. it somewhere in its its torso, perhaps, um, and then. Uh, it leaps forward in pain towards you. Now, at this point, you can react to their attacks just like they can do to you, oh. um, and you can either decide to try and you know bust away with you know you've got a heavy lump of metal in your hand, you know you can't necessarily fight. You just fired, but you but you see it jump towards you. You can whip him, butch it back, uh -huh. or you can try and take a step back and try to dodge the roll, dodge dodge the attack. It's really uh, case of, do you want to fight back or do you want to kind of dodge? I feel like Nevada would try to pistol whip him. Okay, so just you basically make hit him. 
with the back of the gun. Make, son. You, make your fighting brawl roll, which is your unarmed one. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna. It basically becomes an opposed roll with my roll. With I'm, you know, I'm attacking with claws. Oppose me. Um, so I get a forty-one. Twenty-one. So I roll a regular success. Do you, is you? I went to success. Yeah, twenty-one. Is, I had to get uh, fifty. Okay, so it's, but this it's was regular. A, you said it's not a hard success, though. Yeah. 25, so actually, yeah, it's even... It's so hard. it's a hard success. Yeah. So your hard success beats my regular success, so you uh, win the combat. Okay. Oh, okay. So because, he leaps at you and he says, no, no, bam. And because you know, you're fighting back rather than just trying to avoid, you do damage. So uh, with it, it's a, it's a large lump of metal, uh, so it's a 1d8. Oh, okay. Nice. Brilliant. Do you have a damage bonus? Well, it, my damage on unarmed says 1d3 plus db. So db in the bottom corner... It will oh, say damage, oh, damage bonus. bonus. No, I don't have one. Okay, so it's just 1d8 then. Uh, four. <laughs> another four damage. Okay. Eight total. <coughs> oh, okay. Okay, so yeah, you, you bash against it and you feel you feel your fists and, and, the, and the gun hit this kind of wet kind of flesh as it kind of bangs, but you, but you feel it, you know, feel it impact and you feel the breath go out of this creature. Okay. Ugh. Yuck. However... <clears throat> the other one oh. from the other tunnel that's, that intersects with the one you're at just comes at you and okay. you're outnumbered because it's two on one so this unfortunately gets a bonus to its attack roll okay however at the last second you see it coming and you can try you, know, you can try and bash it again or you can try and dodge out of the way I'm ready to step take a step back <coughs> yeah, and okay. examine step my life so okay. think about you, the choices I made so you make a dodge roll this time Think about the cave-related choices. The hard roll. <laughs> okay, I got it. But we'll see what happens. Thirty-five. Ooh. Ooh. Ew. Eighty-nine no. No. on sixty-two. Oh, fail. Yeah. So I, I don't completely dodge. fail my roll, uh, which is fine because you don't dodge anyway. But I fail my roll. Okay, excellent. And um, but Nevada almost <laughs> certainly thinks of himself as having succeeded. Yes, you, you certainly think that's so. <laughs> um, meanwhile, um, at this end, uh, the creature. Um, tries to it's probably going to be you I'm glitched. you are you are closest so again do you want to try and dodge this or how you want to fight it mm. um, yeah I mean I'll, <clears throat> I'll try to I'll try to fight just because I'm slightly I'm slightly <coughs> more likely to do that okay so you uh oh, thank you mm -hmm. so you make your role I make my role and Indeed. we compare successes can do 98 98 so I fail mine uh, I do quite well. Uh, okay. I do a hard. Hard success. Hard okay, so uh, if it's just with your fists, yeah. it's a one d three. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Plus damage bonus if you have it. Which old is, man just rolls his sleeves up. <laughs> a whole lot of nothing. Um, yeah, yeah. So one d three. Here we are. Okay. Uh, so three. Okay. Again, you punch and you know. <laughs> When in, you don't, you know, it, it feels like it connects well. The creature's yeah, kind of knocked exactly. back a little bit. I feel, you know, that, old, feel, I feel that, old, about it. that old strength from boxing club. And you just kind of position it right to, you know, you punch, <laughs> and you're there ready <laughs> yeah. to kind of ah. whack in with a hockey stick, and uh, you make your fighting bro roll. Okay. All right, now, Keiko, just kill the monster. That's all we're asking. With a hockey stick. All right. Hockey. 23. 23, that sounds oh, like success to me. Oh, At yeah. 45. And, and I think it's a D6, is it? Um, on your hockey? 1D6. Oh, 1D6, yeah. Six, yeah. And no damage bonus says, yeah, straight 1D6. Three. Three damage, okay, so Ben, a good connect. You hear that, you know, the the the, uh, the hockey stick, you know, connects hard. Here it, you know, wobbles as you <laughs> hit the flesh and some bone. And the creature, you know, oh, you hear this roar of anger from the creature. Meanwhile, in the safety of between oh. your yeah. friends, before <laughs> she's <laughs> watching it all. I'm like, yeah. yeah. Anything, you get your rosary out. Anything you want to do? Are you happy to just let let them? Uh... No, I'm gonna I'm gonna go at this thing with my switchblade knife. Okay. Not just prayer. <laughs> Not just prayer. <laughs> you know, God didn't jump in, so I got to do it myself. When okay. God closes the window, he opens a switchblade. <laughs> We say that all the time. Yeah. Okay. So you dive. You dive, you know, you've, made, you've made an opening. You've cleared away with the hockey stick. There's a path to the creature. Oh, okay. You can so, kind of. Yeah. Or, if, or you can go to the other one. It's, it's, it's entirely. No, no. Uh, so I didn't realize the, the path was open. Okay. So I. I yeah, you really have your choice of targets here. 
right? There's the one that's on the way out, which we've both whacked for three apiece. Yes. And then you have some other activities over here, but there's actually two of them Sounds back like there. Sounds like they're just being devoured, yeah. Yeah, I would just... There's, there's, there's kind of, you can access the one at this end. Yeah. Which, okay. and, and you mean, if you wanted to try and make a break for it, there's just enough space to perhaps do that, but it it's close. No, I'm not that much of a coward, um, according to my sheet. Uh, so I'm going to actually turn around and see that Nevada desperately needs help. Um... And so I'm going to go back and attack one. Okay, so you sort of pelt down and slice him. Slice down, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to call this a surprise attack because they're too, too involved in this, so you get a free attack. Oh, nice. So they're also surprised that you would attack. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, so I pass that. It's 54. Um, so just a regular attack. Okay, nice. that's fine. Um, and then, my switch blade. And then I get an extra one. You said? Oh. Uh, Oh, no. The, just a free one. Just a free one, yeah. okay. Yeah, that's fine. So uh, you do your 1d4 plus 1, plus a 1d4, because you've got your pretty strong card. Nice. I see when you say free one, you're just you're not going to do a counter roll. I'm not, yeah, not right. countering, okay. yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, so... Ooh! I okay, got four. Four yeah. plus, plus five. one. <laughs> so you got 1d4 plus one, so that's five, and you've got a damage oh, bonus shit. of plus one. She has 1D4. a damage bonus. Cool. There's no messing with you. So you Another d4? Jeez. So that's uh, nine. nine points of damage. Dead. Okay, uh, I'm going to say make a luck roll. Yeah, I mean, that's got to be multiple. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 23. Be that's, easily. That's, that's success. Okay, that's good news. You you plunge your uh, your switchblade into this into this beast, and uh, it keeps going. You kind of cut a soft <laughs> bit of the underbelly, and your hand kind of goes halfway in as well. And you yeah. pull it with like you know. Horror on the end of your picker and so on. I gag for a moment. Horror, but the, okay. the, clearly the creature doesn't like because it, it kind of slumps down, it holds its sign and whines in this kind of kind of dog-like whine. It's almost heart wrenching. But, but if it wasn't, you no, know, if you weren't in the situation, evil. if it wasn't like a dog, it wasn't man. Pure evil. As, as as you and as, as you look around in, in the lamplight and you see, apart from the ones that are already you know against your companions, you see the lights of the eyes of the many many more that are behind them all kind of pulling forwards as you realize this is a hopeless situation that you know we and is it at that point yeah. you hear all of you hear this cry of stop stop and everything stops and the creatures all sort of just before they were about to strike again they they kind of stop and they they all heed the call and they kind of part ways, and the one, one figure kind of comes into the light, and less, less bestial than the rest, but still different. Beastie, still goody. <laughs> on on these kind of legs that are kind of half human feet, <sighs> turning into cloven hoofs. With a, a body with rags of, of what once were maybe fine clothes still clinging, you Douglas know, damp. Kimball. A head that's bald, but with kind of point ears turning into points. A snout kind of beginning to form on face with teeth coming, you know, over, over biting the lips. Do not want. With these rim, you know, wire spectacles still, still on its Dude, nose. That was my fantasy. I hoped he would still have them. <laughs> <laughs> You re you see this kind of <clears throat> Douglas Kimball transforming yes. into oh. one of these hell spawn creatures. Uh, can I have a sanity roll from all of you, please? Yes, oh, no. you deserve it. After that description, no, 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 absolutely not. Uh -uh. <laughs> Too much for me. <laughs> you know what? No, no. fuck this. Mm, I'm out. Yeah, I'm out as well. Okay, and sixty-seven. Can I use? Can I use luck on no, this? No, not on the sanity. No, roll. Sanity. So we, it's outside. It sounds like you all failed all sanity. Failed. Roll. There is not a single you all person failed this really important sanity you, roll. That might be the end of our game. club. Yeah. Not a dry. And you can't eye use luck. Oh, what a shame. Um, okay. <laughs> so <laughs> good luck. As as the full horror and the implication that that what you have been fighting and encountering that that they perhaps they were all ones. People, you see the you see the truth, and, and Douglas Kimball stands shouting "No!" above you, you know, around, and as as the horror kind of 
Oh, you, no, no, no. This, you know, they, they, these, these are not, these aren't people, these are monsters. It all gets too much and you black out. Oh, no. I'm sure they won't mess with us. Yeah, we just killed like three of them. You wake up. You see the moon above you. You feel cold grass that you're lying on as you turn, see, see your companions all the same, all lying on the grass amidst the grave stones in the cemetery above ground. It's night, the moon is out, there are bats flying across the stars. And you wonder how, what happened? And then you look and see the, the mausoleum doors there ajar and standing half in them is what was formerly Douglas Kimball, who stands there and says to you, I only ask you let us be. We will not return here. I wish you no harm, but you should not go where you weren't meant to go. I only wanted my books. Uh, Let right. us go in peace <clears throat> and we will not disturb you. But come, <laughs> come back this way again and you will, I will not be here to save you again. I say, Douglas, the books were yours to take, but what should we tell your nephew? What would you have him know? I care not. And he shuts the door and with a loud clang, he shuts the door and you are left alone. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. So what do you tell uh, his nephew? I don't think we should tell him he's still alive. No. Nope. Yeah. We don't know anything about his uncle or these books. Or any of it. You, 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 so it, it, it isn't going to be a thing where we try to put it to rest. It's like, hey, we don't know. Yeah. But don't try to find out. That's how it should be. <laughs> yeah, it's a, no, it, that, yes. that should be that should be how it says. It's like we we're all there. We come back, uh, and we're filling him in. We sit down. It's like why don't you put on a new pot of tea, and then it's like, uh, here's here's what you need to know. Uh, we weren't able to find any information. There isn't any information to find. Don't look into it. And then we should leave. <laughs> and I basically leave. I go, just so you know, we did an excellent job. <laughs> uh, yeah. That should be That's it. Good. Just yeah. leave it open. Yeah. Yeah. Right? I like that. Cool. Well, you know, he, he, can, he can argue nothing less. He, yeah, he can, exactly. He, you know, you, you, you've done what he, he asked. And, you know, there are no answers for him. Uh, he, you know, he just resigns. To what you've told him, Dude, the next meeting of the club is going to be uh, incredible. As you, you know, you drive away, you know, being the four, the only the four that know the, the real truth. Uh, you know, you must decide what you do. Eventually, tell your colleagues. But having you know successfully, you know, discovered the truth behind, you know, the case of Douglas Kimball, um, you uh, are rewarded for your. <laughs> Troubles, Ooh, and uh, uh, you are rewarded with one d four sanity. Okay. So if you've lost some, you may regain some. If you didn't lose some, you just bolster it. Well, you didn't tell us how much we lost. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Last. Oh, they deal damage. Yeah, oh, that's, that's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. Well, so I'm going to roll that now. I'm going to yeah, roll one die for you all. So it would be one d six. So you all three. lost three points. Um, okay. So mine didn't change at all. So, and then nothing right. crazy because we didn't lose five or more at one go. Nothing too. Yeah. Can you imagine that dri that that drive home? <laughs> all of us just, <laughs> just, like, just insane. insane. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think we'd break out of it. It may have been that you ran off down deeper into the tunnels, perhaps. Yeah. We'd never heard from again. Exactly. Either. Thank you so much for the game. Dude, that no, was a kick in the ass. Yeah. That was awesome. I've never fun. played it before, but I really love the system in which it works. I love how yeah. to fail a role. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's really nice. It, it's like the, the sanity thing, it sits, like we were talking about this before, like it's yeah. separate from the rest of the systems. Yeah. Like it can't be fucked with, it exists out here. 
and you have to respect it, right? Right. Sure, mm-hmm. yes. sure. And, and there are degrees of sanity loss. Obviously, there's the, the minor things like, you know, an involuntary scream or, you know, if you'd have, if you'd have maybe just lost the odd point earlier, then maybe involuntary squeeze the trigger in sure. the wrong place and time, yeah. that kind of thing, to the kind of bout of madness you had. And again, uh, depending on the circumstances, you might, your bout of madness might go on longer and you might start suffering from delusions and you might, you know, you might actually see Nevada. It actually doesn't look like Nevada. You think he looks like one of these dog creatures. But it's all in your mind and, you know, that kind of... So there's lots of degrees that you can start yeah. to play around mm-hmm. with this, you know. That's but, uh, yeah, but that is uh, normally some sort of mystery that you will find and sometimes the un- the, the ending is, is uh, just death and madness sometimes you survive like here but the uh, but normally the the, you know, the answer isn't always a comfortable one or the truth right. isn't easy to you know to to yeah, it's not to noble, pass on. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Thank you so much, man. That yeah. was awesome. Thank, Thank you. Awesome. Yeah, this was amazing. Thank you, Channel. Thanks, Channel. Thanks, guys.